Well, I don't know if uh, anyone's out there right now, being that it's Monday afternoon for my area and varying areas around the world. Uh, I had a chat with Mr. Malted in Montreal. Hey, Jay Fretless, you are first. Anyway, he uh, he's... He's trying to get hooked up here, so we'll just wait for him, and we'll start. And I got off work early today. I have lots of stuff to do here at the house. My place is a mess. Fortunately, uh, I have a lovely girlfriend that tried to help me out here on the weekend a bit. Got me started. Now I need to get everything organized. Because we're getting to the tail end of the slow season, and then I'm going to be very busy. So Swami had an idea, and I said, let's do it, and here we are. Hopefully, he will be able to get his stuff figured out, and we'll join him soon. So how's it going, Mr. Fretless? What are you up to, since you're the only one in the chat at the moment? I'm having a innocent gun, blood red sky, they call it now. I'm not really sure what blood red sky means. It's their rum cask. Barrel-aged rum cask. I don't know why they, they're they reinventing all their names and so forth. I don't know why they don't just keep it the way it is. Sherry, Malt, Drams, hello, how you doing? Day off, actually, MLK Day. What is an MLK Day? I'm not very good with abbreviations, and I have to deal with them all day long, almost all the time. Um. What time is it in your neck of the woods, Sherry Drams? Did Whiskey in the Six get you in the mood? Did he get me in the mood? Oh, I missed his premiere, didn't I? No, it was Malted in Montreal. This is something that YouTube... Man, my bourbon journey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, YouTube, lately, I mean, I, I, I go in and check. Oh, Martin Luther King Day, right. Down in the States. I go on... Check that I'm subscribed and check that I have the bell notification done. And I still don't always get notifications. It is annoying. I don't know what type of glitches they have, but they need to fix them up, man. 8.50 p.m. in your neck of the woods. Yeah, because you're in the uh, U.K. somewhere, right? I don't know what's taking him so long, that guy. He'll come in here soon. I think he's just setting up with something else. We'll just let him know I started. I think he wanted to talk about some whiskey he's got. Hey, Mark. How you doing? Glad you could join in. Having an Aaron the Bothy. Ah, I like Aaron and the Bothy. I didn't, I didn't buy it there. I bought the Aaron. I bought this Aaron right here. Uh, it's called the Wee Double. The Wee Double by Willie, by Billy and Jim. Ten-year-old. Cheers, Pilgrim. Uh, cast rank sixty point two and a hundred percent Sazara. Sorry, I, I know how to say that word. X Sazakaya barrel. So we'll pour a dram when Swami shows up. Kevin, how you doing? Uh, Kevin, <laughs> yeah, Swami's probably organizing his certificates up behind him here and and getting ready, eh? No, I haven't cracked that one open, man. I have so many bottles open up right now. I just, I don't want to open up another one. Yesterday I was making uh, um, old fashions with, now I'm going to forget the name. Everything is well, my friend. I'm trying to remember the name of Gooderheim and Wart, who just, I think, won some awards at the Victoria Festival for their 11 grain that they did. Um, I haven't tried the 11 grain yet. I was told it was so-so, but other people think it's good, so I'm going to have to try it for sure now. I have not cracked it open. I did crack this open on my the interview I did with... Uh, Springbank, uh, Ronan Curry. Oh, I forgot to ask if he was related to the other Curry, although they're not from the same areas. 
Um, this here is, is delightful. It's from what they call a, a living cast. So they kind of keep adding to it, but they cannot call it a whiskey, he said. It's here, double distilled BPS. Uh, and he couldn't remember exactly what those abbreviations stood for. B, P, P, B, S. Uh, base spirit or something like that, but this is definitely uh, at least a spring bank. If it's not, I think actually it's a Kilcairn. It is a Kilcairn. This is a Glen Guile distillery, uh, but they can't call it whiskey. So, Signatory Vintage Deanston. So, Signatory has got Deanston now. I have Signatories, but uh, they are actually uh, single grains. But I was looking for one because the Malted Man Cave had a. Uh, Daniel, a bottle. You can hear me. I can hear you. I can hear you. But uh, did you send me a uh, link to my uh, email, bro? Yeah, I did, bro. Yo, bro. Do you even lift, bro? Yeah. One second. It says sent. I sent you a link there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sorry, people. Freaking Google is acting a little nuts today. Well, nobody wants to see your face anyway. They can hear uh, you. Bro. One second. Okay. Uh, no, you haven't sent me to my uh, to my Google, to my Yahoo Yahoo. I did send it to Yahoo. There's something wrong then. Dot because... ca or dot com. Dot ca. I'll check in my spam. Oh yeah, it's in my spam. One oh, second. Thanks. Now I feel special. Yeah. Well, you know that's how I set it up. You set me up. What? That's how I set you up. It's spam. <laughs> One moment. So uh, Scott says, Swami, you've never looked so good. That's nice, Scott. Yeah. Looks very clean. Nice picture. <laughs> uh, that's all right. We always have technical difficulties. I haven't poured a whiskey yet. I'm just drinking some innocent gun. Uh, I've got my Anuk uh, sitting there. It's not drank yet. I'm letting it air out nicely. Jason, the mash and drum just came in. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing all right. Uh huh. Um, so everybody is at work, or are you doing something else? Have I reorganized my shelves? Uh, no, I've disorganized my shelves. Why? What do you notice, Kevin? Is there something different? Not telling here? me I have no invites. Sorry, but that's what you're telling me. Oh man, that this is, is really weird today, man. I don't know what's going on with it. Never had a problem with Google Hangouts. I like this. Oh, here it goes. So conversation, join. I think this will work. There we go. And there's my big mouth. Yeah, that should be on in two seconds. All right. I see. Oh, we got two multiple in Montreal. So one of them you got to shut off. Yeah. Yikes. Here, I just ejected you. Good, 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 good. Your first Thank connection you. is disconnected. Thank you. Sorry about that, everybody. I don't know what was going on with Google today. It's weird. Kinda, How you doing? Yeah, I don't. it can be fussy sometimes, eh? The oh. Gooch. Is that the Gooch sweater or is that like Mr. Rogers sweater? This is my really, really comfortable sweater that my wife got me. I yeah. like it. It's my hanging around the house sweater. So wow. like it. Pull it down a bit more. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I am the Gooch. That fits. <laughs> One of the boys here said that you were going to uh, go get all your Somali certificates, Somali, Somali A certificates and put them up behind you. Yeah, yeah. Listen, being a level 6,322 dash rank albino tiger. Whiskey Quest says that's a drinking whiskey sweater. That's right. It's a relaxing at home on my day off sweater. Relaxing with a friend like Daniel. I'm not. Uh, gonna drink, I'm actually not going to drink any beer today, though. I'm only. Gonna drink, yeah, I'm only going to drink this fine product right here. Nice. Are you trying to talk me into opening one? Yes, you're supposed to open the exact same product, my friend. Well, I poured a beer instead. You poured a beer. You're boring. I could Ooh. pour. I could. I could finish this off. Eh, the Malbec. No, it's not the Malbec. It's not the Cabernet Sauvignon. 
Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. Tabernak vit vit. Daniel has the best French ever. The best French ever because I learned it from the real French people. The real French people. They just taught him how to speak. You know how they taught him to speak French? They taught him how to speak French, like just by just doing that accent. Going the real French people. So he talks. <laughs> Maltland. I gotta say something to Maltland here right now, my friend. I am not ignoring you. I got your messages. Uh, just sometimes I'm still asleep when you send them to me, and I get busy. So don't don't think I'm ignoring you, boss. We we're we're gonna talk and get together. I promise. I ignore everybody. Whiskey comes psalms to- would know that. See, I don't know what that means. I've never even heard of a whiskey psalm. I'm the whiskey psalm. Oh, you're a whiskey psalm. Yeah, I'm a whiskey psalm. I told you that. I decided three weeks ago to become one. Listen, I I don't recognize things that are made up names. So it's because you're not with it. You're not hip. You're not cool, my friend. Well, you know, I don't I'm even cool. have a sweater like that. I just have this cheap T-shirt. I'm not wearing. I'm not. It's a beautiful T-shirt. I'm gonna maybe send you. A, I'm gonna have some new ones in light blue and white soon. They're nice. coming. They're coming nice. just like winter's coming in April. Winter's coming. Yeah. The, uh, the, the Game of Thrones season uh, beginning starts. Uh, April. Is, what, what is this thing you talk about? Game of Thrones? Yes. Yeah, you don't watch Game of Thrones. You must get what laid. Never heard of it. <laughs> yes. Fine. I just want to see who's in the house. I, I haven't. Uh, I haven't uh, seen anybody yet. Hold on one second. So we got. You gotta yeah. click on uh, three buttons at the top and hit participants. That's the yeah, best. I'm, I'm, checking, I'm checking it right now. Jeff Fretless, Sherry Malt Drams, um, My Bourbon Journey. He's kind of a douche, that guy. Um, let's see what, what else we got. Really? We got, you know, huge douche from Chicago. They're all douches in Chicago, and they talk like this. They talk even weirder than you. That, that Midwestern accent. Like, I, I don't I, think you're from there. Chicago. I think you got it wrong. I don't think he's from Chicago. Illinois. He's from some part in Illinois. He's uh, got a lovely wife. She's from Canada. He's got a wife from Canada. So K- Kilted think, Moose, how you doing, buddy? I can't stand Canadians. I'm from Quebec. Don't worry, they can't me. stand you either. Good. Stay away. We got Kevin Mayatos in the house. How you doing, Kevin? <laughs> uh, he is he's not part of the tribe. Kilton Moose, he's he's Scottish, right? Kilton Moose, I, I think I, I've uh, I've seen Kilton Moose a lot. His name's Scott too, I think. He's another Scott. There's too many Scots. Parents are That's, unoriginal. What is the Klein Leash Game of Thrones ABV? Um, I don't know. I had a set of four in my hands and I took them all out to look at them. And they're all chill filtered, colored, and I just put them back. Jason Whiskey Wise, how you doing, buddy? I uh, I have to reply to the picture you sent me on Instagram, my friend. Hey, there's there's Whiskey Quest. He's a small channel, but I've watched his stuff recently. He's funny. I like him. He's got a yeah, sense of humor. Oh, he humor. does a good job, man. Yeah, he's, he has like a sword in one of them. He did like the Game of Thrones whiskeys, which I'm not a fan of. They're just marketing crap. But... Yeah. Uh, Still, he did a good job. He had like the big sword, and uh, I, don't know, I enjoyed watching it. Um, <laughs> Kevin, uh, don't let it, don't Kevin, do not let it make your head swell up. Okay. What, Kevin? Well, what um, what's making Kevin's head swell up? You spoke to him. You mentioned oh. his name. Uh, Kevin Mayato. Yeah, I've mentioned Kevin tons of times. Who is Antonio, and why does he do, do such a great job? Who's Antonio? I don't know who Antonio is. Maybe you're Antonio. Antonio? I don't know. Banderas? <laughs> and Whiskey Quest says that the sword belongs to his wife. Well, she... <laughs> you better behave, my friend. You better behave. Or you'll end up Jewish. Uh, the Maltland is in the house. How you doing, the Maltland? That's who I was just talking to. And there's Vegas Arts. Vegas Arts has been showing up quite a bit on my streams. How you doing, Vegas? Vegas is uh, a good one. Caddy's around quite often, yeah. I see. I see Jason too from Mash and Drum. Jason is uh, the it boy. He's uh, he's the oh, it boy. Oh. Of the Growing Whiskey Quest is Antonio. Ah, okay. Thank you, Mash Come and on. Drum. Come on, Antonio. 
Um, or no, as bad as my French. Spanish, so it would be como estas. It's not como esta. Como esta is Italian. Como estas is Spanish. Um, yeah, so we got Jason from the Mash and Drum. We got the press man's in the building. I love press man's uh, picture because it's uh, it's uh, got got to empty the shitter guy there from uh, Christmas vacation. I don't know what you're talking about. Jason, are you at home right now or are you working? If you are at home, open up one of those samples and just smell it. I don't want you to taste it yet. Just smell it. What's and Jason Mansion Drum or Jason Whiskey Wise? Jason Whiskey Wise. I haven't seen Jason Whiskey Wise in a long, long, long time. He's a, he is the one busy cat. That's why, man. Uh, I've got my Anok 18. It's been sitting in my Glen Cairn. I like saying Glen Cairn because it pisses everybody in the whiskey community off. So you know what I tell people is go open up a Glen Cairn whiskey nosing glass because yeah. Glen Cairn is not a glass. Glen Cairn is a company that made this glass. Yeah. And, right. Anyway, Jason, the the one with the with the sparkly star. Just smell it. Just smell it. Do not taste it. The sparkly star. It's just Daniel's piss. <laughs> it's not. I'm not like that. I don't do things Swami would do. I don't even mention things Swami would do, actually. <laughs> so, Swami, let's talk here a bit. A little seriousness going on. You've been pretty busy with a new job. I've been very, very, very busy. Um, the strip club promises that they're going to bump me up to janitor very shortly. Um, you know, cleaning up that for the girls is, is quite hard. But, uh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute here. I'm sure that there's been more women in your life cleaned up for you than you have cleaned up for them. That would be true. I, I do have many sisters, and uh, they had to clean up for me because I was an Italian boy, and they did everything my mom told them to do, and I was the king of the house. So you're correct there. It's a blue um, star, Jason. Blue star. Blue star with sparkles. It's, a, it's the only one that had a blue star. There's only one blue star. There's no other ones. Um, so you're busy working, which is a nice change of pace. Yep. But you're not able to get to all your, uh, all the really? stuff you'd like to do on your channel. Eh? Yeah. I, there's lots of things I'd like to do on my channel, but, uh, unfortunately no, I haven't had uh, much time. I might do a review tomorrow. Depends. Um, I know the 20 or 30 people who will watch it will probably be pissed off if I don't put one up. So I got to get it out there for them. <laughs> you you better get her out there, buddy. You better yeah. get her out there. I, get her out there. I need that YouTube fifty cents, man. I need it. I need it. It's 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 more of a pride thing than it is a a need for actual money. Uh, I see I see my my boy Roberto is in the building. He's no longer Roberto. His new name, Robbie. Robbie's new name is now Rocky Rocco. Okay, whenever you see whenever you see Rob. I want you guys to go, hey, Rocky Rocco. What's going on, Rocco? How you doing, Rocky? All right. That's yeah, how you I don't it. know, man. He, he, he don't got the right slang to sound like Sylvester. The, the right slang? No, I don't have the right slang, do I? I mean, Robbie. No, but no, I just want to call him Rocky Rocco because he, does, he has a kickboxing thing. He's Italian, so he's Rocky Rocco from now on. Since we got a bunch of Canadians in here, here, look, I'll, I'll step it up. I'll put on a six hat. Oh, you can't do that with my beautiful shirt on and wear sure it. Because blue. Toronto's always on top of Montreal. Uh -huh. I'm, pretty <laughs> sure, I'm pretty sure you're always going to be the little Toronto's more south. Montreal's more north, so technically we're above Toronto. Yeah, but you're always going to be the little spoon. The little spoon. But yeah, I, I don't even like the Canadians. I'm a I'm a Senators fan, so I can't really uh, I can't really go after them by saying our hockey team's better because I can't stand the Canadians. So somebody's talking know. about a Talisker, Jason Whiskey Wise. Have you tried this yet? You probably have. We had to order that. Somebody ordered this right from the UK for me. Anoc 18. Now I'm sitting here and just gonna go through everything on your shelf, aren't you, Daniel? No, I I'll have a sip with you. <laughs> All Daniel wants to do is show. Look at my shelves, Daniel. Well, you should make it ask something about it. Don't it. even start. Look at your it's shelf. It's behind you too. There's not very much there. Yeah, but you like to hide stuff. You probably got 200 samples. Iced tea. I just fill these balls with iced tea. That's all it is in here. By you way, probably got 200 samples from people that you've never even looked at because yep. you're too cheap. 
I'm too cheap to even care. <laughs> too cheap. <laughs> Daniel, they should make that. You know that song from Mr. Burns, See My Best? Nice. Jason's done the full range of Talisker. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Burns does what with your vest? Let's see my vest. See my vest made of real gorilla chest. You know, that, <laughs> that one there. It should be you. It should be see my shelves. See my shelves. Look at all the whiskey I got. I don't know. So I'm thinking. <laughs> Only the 40 year old is missing. Yeah. Listen, we're just going to talk over Swami because he's being a jealous little woman right now. Oh, you're so sexist. In I'm not. Age, you can't oh say my god! I forgot. I'm not allowed to mention anything as feminine. So much sand in my vagina right now. It's not even funny. I am completely triggered. It's a good thing I'm not monetized. Uh, I found this nice little bottle though. The triggering. What's that? The English Whiskey Company, Chapter Six. Yeah, I, I I've had a three and a four for a while. It's three year old minimum. Non -peated. But actually, if you ever see any of these, and they've changed their box now, these are actually pretty good. Yeah? They are, yeah, you would be impressed. This little tiny bottle, it's only 200 cc's, is, was uh, 13 bucks, and it was hidden. It's a dusty old one on a shelf in the background. Somebody sent me in looking for stuff, right? Oh, yeah. The Anarch 18 nose is just pretty. That's how I have to describe it. It's pretty. The Anok. 18. So you're talking me into opening this, are you? Yeah, open I talked Quig into opening his uh, uh, Kill Omen PX Sherry cast strength live on air. So I'm going to talk you into it. Yeah. And he loved uh, it. I got, I got like 9 million bottles already open. That's right. You don't want a lot of rewards and see if you get this in out, out there this year at the... Uh, Victoria Festival is Shelter Point. Are you talking about this year's uh, yeah. Victoria Festival? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Food Quake, Food Quake was there. Uh, Whiskey Wednesday was there, and so was Trenny and C. They were all there um, at that uh, festival. Did you yeah, they were. Well, Trenny and C live there, and so does Food Quake. Yeah. Right, and, and uh, flew, Phil from Whiskey over. Wednesday. Yeah, he flew over there. Flew over there. Yeah. He's, he's a good cat. He's, he's decent. Kevin, my auto, you have not tried any Anak? Well, get somebody. It's good. The yeah, 24. You know, it's, it's, it's got uh, the thing about Anak or uh, the distillery, Nuck Do. All right. Nuck Do. Yeah. Uh, they use the most mineralized water in all of Scotland for their whiskeys. So you're going to get a lot of mineral tasting notes and there are a lot of clay notes, a lot of like almost sulfurish kind of notes that come off of it just from the water itself. Not even talking about the barley or anything like that. Just yeah. the way you're literally going to get that all just from the water. Okay. 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 You guys okay, want me okay. to open this and try it? I was at a tasting for Anik. And I was I was with uh, and I did an interview with him after because he represents because really I think this is a Diageo company right he represents this Balblair Inverhouse Inverhouse yeah so I interviewed the guy from Inverhouse yeah. second last live I did but uh, whiskey shenanigans the hat is covering your awesome hair looks man I still have the hair but before I was wearing a hard hat okay so. Is this better this way? I don't know why there's not a six on the back, man. Like this guy. When I turn my hat to the back, it makes me feel like a truck. Uh, really? How do you <laughs> know, what a, do you know what a trucker feels Cobra. like? Cobra, the, the, the arm wrestling movie, the, the big action arm yeah, wrestling yeah, movie. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't called Cobra. It was it, something else. But. It was Cobra, wasn't he? Like he was a truck driver and he arm wrestled and he'd like, be like, and they'd be like, how do you win? Where do you get your power? He's like, well, when I, when I turn my hat to the back, it turns my engine on like a truck, and then I can beat it. Listen, man, that guy, <laughs> I got to give Stallone a lot of credit considering all the movies he's done that are really bad. He, uh, Listen, I ain't, je I ain't jealous, but I'm jealous. You know what I mean? Yeah. Over the top. Thank you, Kevin. Um, okay. okay, whiskey shenanigans. I'm not going to do over the top. 
but I will. I just started this. You can see here. Because I know a lot of you guys think I don't open bottles. The unpeeling begins. We'll pull the top off because I'm going to reseal this <laughs> later and sell it. <laughs> I'm going to reseal this and sell it to somebody in Montreal. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm one of them illegal things. Oh. Mmm, still smells as good as always. Yeah, people are saying over the top, over the top. Yeah, yeah, we got her. Oh, dripping. <laughs> Hopefully I don't ruin my notes for Jason's uh, Canadian whiskey samples. I'm also covering my lust lustrous, elegant hair. <laughs> yes, you are. Now, listen, Jason, if you do open that one, I told you to open and smell it. Don't mm. don't be shy to comment in. Uh, oh my God, it's uh, I, it's been, mine's been sitting out for a good twenty minutes and it's just opening up so nicely. Well, mine mine has uh, just been opened, as you see. You got like some beautiful caramelized wheat notes to it, and like the sherry is definitely coming through. Yes, you know, Spanish sherry draft. You got to change your grip. It's Spanish European oak and ex bourbon casking. I don't know if it's Oloroso sherry though. Um, you know what? I would know it because be I had it notes. Me, yeah, it just tells me Spanish ex sherry cast and American oak ex bourbon barrel. Well, it's not hard to tell if it's which one it is because it's not very sweet, is it? Well, if it's Oloroso, it's going to be more nutty. And if it's PX, it's going to have more of that dainty kind of uh, dried raisin taste and up to it. Right. But Oloroso is also... Uh, Dry like Fino, yes. Yes. It's in the middle range of the dryness. And then Fino well, is like, ooh, super dry. Whiskey shenanigans. I have now opened another bottle. Just for you, because you begged me to. I'd be sure to send you my notes. Just going to head and make some dinner first. Catch you all later. Thank you, Jason Whiskey Wise, for coming in. You're a good man. Now i got to take this out to the to the whiskey. Say hi to your monkeys. Thank you. Your monkeys. No. <laughs> you say you wanted to spank his monkey, huh? No, he's got a monkey. He's got a monkey on his channel. Spank you or something like that. I remember. Mr. Mr. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure everybody heard you say you wanted to spank his monkey. It's true, though. I do want to spank him. I'm pretty sure that's all I know. Yeah. It's opened. It's a neck pour. It's not a real review, which I don't really do reviews, guys. It's this not, is a good it's whiskey. Gay between reviewers, by the way. So. What's that? It's not gay between reviewers. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not gay. Mr. Bananas, not me, Bananas. But yeah. I believe, Kevin, you're probably Bananas. <laughs> no one's going to argue. The color is really nice too. Uh, even though it's 18 years of age, it's not a very deep color because it's a natural, natural whiskey, by the way. Yeah. 46% ABV, unchilled filter, no color added. It is uh, almost kind of like a golden orange, like a burnt orange, I would say, in color. Mm. A Deanna. I have my little pipette here, which I got. You get these one. Oh. Uh, faster than I wanted. That's more than enough. I'd like to put a little drop of mine after I taste it. Mm. The malt man says, "The malt land says, Swami, you got to do some stand up." Oh no, that would be disgusting. <laughs> that would be a bad idea, malt land, because uh, it's a terrible thing to waste that many vegetables. Yep, I don't do stand up. Did I'm you just, see, Swami, did you see Jeremy's video? Which uh, video there? Because I was just looking at some here before Swami called me. What, Jeremy, uh, sit for social sucky sucky club. <laughs> Why do you have to be so controversial all the time? Like, that's your whole thing. You should open up your own channel, Captain Controversial. Who's Captain Controversial? You. Me? No. Yeah, you always want to pick on oh, people. Just a I little man trying to pay big. I don't pick on nobody. What are you talking about? Making fun of everything is a pretty good way to live, Malt Land says. <laughs> Don't stand up, Malt. 
<laughs> yeah, I agree. Please don't stand up. We know you're not wearing pants right now. Of course not. Why would I wear pants? I'm at home. Pants are for suckers. Um, no comment. No comment. Anything else going on out there, guys? Uh, I'm sure whiskey shenanigans is working. Malt land is probably in the evening for you. Uh, whiskey in the six. Uh, are you uh, marking some tests or pretending to? Jason whiskey wise just left, so we know that. Kevin, I'm Portuguese, so yeah, I'm bananas. <laughs> Actually, in Edmonton, there's a phenomenal Portuguese bakery. It's on the wrong side of town for me, but man, it was great when I lived there. All Portuguese areas are on the wrong side of town. That's where I found my wife. You were on the wrong side of town, see? I found my wife on the wrong side of town. You Portuguese. found a bottle of 06? Mm, I don't think I've even seen a bottle of 06. I have a bottle of 05, which I just bought at the same time I bought this Anok. I know. Uh, I no. think what Rob is talking about because there's going to be kind of a special thing that's coming up soon. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about it, so I, I, I guess uh, maybe that's what Jeremy's videos is about. I'm not going to mention what it's going to what's going to happen, but it's going to be a thing where it's a bunch of Canadian reviewers are going to take part in something special. I don't want to give too much away, but I think that's maybe what Jeremy's video is about. So I'm probably you guys. Video. I've never heard of it, so I'm not special enough. So. Well, the, the number one rule of whatever we're doing was no Daniels allowed. That was awesome. Just, yeah. I think it don't hurt my feeling at all. You guys do whatever you want. You think this world belongs to you, but it don't. But I know that, and it's okay. I'm ready. Shenanigans, that's $200 uh, for an 06 first release, second release. Because I'm pretty sure this was cheaper. And this is a first release. Bal Blair. So the nice things about these is that this is all 2005. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is a vintage, they might call it that. Um, it's not, you know, something they're calling. I don't even know if vintage would actually classify that. But this is all the same year which is a nice little thing to have, whereas a lot of them that come out, you know, I mean, it could say, I forget the words now, but I mean, that it's just not all blend. It, it, it still could be a blend of stuff that's younger or older or whatever, but this is all 05 and all 99 and all 06, whatever one you get. I kind of like that. Yeah, Kevin, I, I guess he hasn't saying, watched it. They're saying Jeremy's new videos about having more substance walk. Everyone eventually has more subs than Swami. Trust me. I'm very well aware of that. <laughs> so I'm not worried. Daniel's been me for a while. I don't care about subs. So if I did, I wouldn't do the stuff I do. If I cared about subs, I'd be sidling up to certain channels and trying yeah. to become popular every day. I anyway, here's, here's the point. Bell yeah. Blur 91 is 40% more expensive than the 90 over here. Hmm. Is it a first release? 91 and a second release 1990 and is it a different cast strength because i think they put out some stronger ones so they would be higher in price uh maltland uh hey chris breton how you doing thanks for coming in i have not tried the 06 i'm reading backwards 57.1 percent that's what your 06 is and you really like my inter your interview mine or who are we talking about is he talking about Second. the spring bank one the spring bank thing was cool that you did it, you know what except somebody in the front of the store mm -hmm. started to use their wi-fi to stream a soccer game oh. i found out later and that's why all of a sudden i started to get a bad glitch that well, I and understand. like after talking to you for more than 10 minutes i want to stream soccer as well I wasn't talking to this guy, you stupid donkey. If you got two ears and one mouth, why don't you listen twice as much as you talk? <laughs> oh, my God. Don't you have to work today sometime? I'm phoning in. I'm, I'm going to phone that store and make them make you come into work. Fight for sound. How you doing, boss? Thanks for coming in. This is very good, this Anok. Oh, yes. Yeah, it, I, I actually really appreciated him. 
unfortunately he did not he was not here for our whiskey festival so on wednesday so i interviewed him on monday wednesday was our our whiskey festival which is technically a fundraiser for multiple sclerosis for ms um by no means is it anywhere near as interesting as uh the number one across canada to go to is the victoria whiskey festival right um, i'm going to the montreal whiskey festival in february i have awesome. been invited yeah that's good yeah you were saying that there hey rooney how you doing how is the faroe islands rooney is a real viking yeah i know rooney he, he's uh you've talked about him quite a bit well, when when we when Roy arranged that uh, World Whiskey Day live thing, yeah, uh, Rooney and I, I picked Rooney, and I and I'm very fortunate that he said yes because Rooney is, first of all, lives in the Faroe Islands. So if you guys have never looked up Faroe Islands, it's F. How do I spell F A R O E? Spell that for me, Rooney. Faroe Islands, and then look up Rooney. This guy lives in I the middle of the freaking him. ocean. And owns more bottles of whiskey than I do, I think. At least of one type. I'm sub to his Instagram. Yes. Yep. yep. He's uh he's a brilliant fella. I gotta go there. I tell you, I flew over them. I flew over them going to uh Scotland. Mm hmm From from Iceland. Mm-hmm. Fair F A R O E Islands. Which 18-year-old do you prefer, Springbank or Enoch? I can tell you I prefer this Enoch 18 over the Springbank 18 any fucking day of the week. It's not even uh, close. And I'm I will. Huge, I'm a huge Springbank guy, but the Springbank 18, um, I reviewed it about a year and a half ago. I've owned a bottle of it. No I business for me. With crazy. Daniel doesn't like me talking. You need to talk over me. He reminds me of Red Beard. Talk. Yes, it's your show. Talk. I uh, know. I just had a chance to say something through the mic. Right. Here is an 18 year old in front of me. Springbank. Mm -hmm. Yep. Springbank falls flat in every category. The Springbank 18 falls flat in every category. In your opinion? Yeah, in my opinion. In most people's opinions that I've actually seen them too. It's not just me. Once you've had the Springbank 12 cast strength and the Springbank 18, uh, sorry, the 15 and the 10. You just, I don't know. The Springbank 18 just doesn't do it. The Anok, I definitely do not get any peat on. Yeah. Well, there's not very much peat on the 18 and Springbank either. Yeah. Well, no, but I, uh, comparing them side by each, I do yeah. some. Yeah. So this is peat right away. Not a lot of peat, not strong, not terrible. Not, it not, not. It's, it's a nice blend. That's one of the things I've learned about Springbank, Hazelburn, all of them. Mm -hmm. Hey, Chris, how you doing, buddy? I'm glad you're listening. Thank you very much. And sorry I missed you on the last live chat when I was interviewing. I saw you come in, but when you're talking to a guest, it's hard to sometimes, uh, especially if they're sitting next to you, it's hard to interrupt them. Okay, Maltland, you put the kids to sleep, and I have not forgot about you, I promise. Have a good night, Maltland. Nice seeing you. We got Chris Conkle Vlogs is in the building. Yeah, hey, Chris, how you doing, buddy? I if you're into construction and want to know a little bit more about construction, you check out his uh, YouTube. I don't know. They're totally different beasts. This is the spring bank that you need to have. The old school spring bank to all cast strings. Oh, Thank really? You. Yes, sir. Should but I the look old at my shelf or will you get mad? Go ahead. Go look at your shelf. What do you have? What cast strength is that? This is the 12 year old cast strength. This is a 2013 bottling. Oh, yeah. Mine's not good enough for you then. No, yours is the new shit. The new shit's are 56, yeah. Fine. But you know what? I love all spring banks, but I agree with Swami. The 18 year old's not, it's not that it's a bad whiskey. It's a $230 bottle, and it's like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's just it's just basic whiskey. I find it's a basic single malt scotch. I'm That's putting it for you. Uh, I'm putting some drops of Springbank into my Anok. You prick. Yeah. What? Why? Why does it make me cheap for? What happened to you anyway? What? You get dropped on your freaking head a lot. Yep. Mm. Yeah. 
Toasted. Thanks, Chris. Don't tell that to Swami. It gets them all sensitive and upset. <laughs> Chris, Have thanks. you? That's crazy. Swami. Yes, sir. I love that Spring Bank 10, Chris. I, I agree with you one bit, Chris Beaton. I agree with um, Chris Beaton, too. Spring Bank 10 is amazing. It is. Um, have you done, tried, or had many Lechegs? I have only had a bottle of Lecheg 10. That's the only bottle I've ever owned from Lecheg. Oh, and you sent me the Bee's Knees, which has Lecheg in it. Uh, yep. Yep. Which is nice. Which is right here, 42 SMWS. Very nice stuff. That is good stuff, Anne. Yeah? Um, Pilgrim, the 17 year old Sherry would know I have not. Might not even know that that exists. So the only thing I brought back from there, unfortunately, was this Glen Guile, which is a living cask. I filled this one myself. It's very good, very tasty. You always show that ball. You must really, really love it. Well, it's only spring bank, and I've been doing that lots lately. What I have back here is uh, three Lechegs, mm -hmm. and only only two of them were bought actually at Tobamori. Mm -hmm. um, Louis, how you doing, buddy? Um, and Jason Fisk, how you doing? Uh, I don't know how I ended up. Well, because that's what I tried and that's what I liked. I'm like, yeah, I want that bottle. So one of them is a 16 year old American Oak Leche, and the mm -hmm. other one is a 2004 Oloroso. But that one's right from the cask we were drinking out of. Like we well, used the thief. I just want to say hi, a bunch. Of, sorry to interrupt you, bro, but a bunch of people walked. They want to say hi. Jason Fisk is there. Louis Ocho is here, and Welsh Toro Welshy has entered the building. WT as Welsh Toro and I know each other. I, I just know Welsh Toro as the guy who won't do my show. Well, Welsh, if you you won't do his show, but will you do mine? <laughs> Wink. I bet you he'll do my show. No, he'll only do Roy's. No, whatever. Welsh Toro and I will just always remember that we are not YouTubers. We are not even – we are just guys from the chat. Right? Yeah. Some fools talk me into doing a YouTube channel. That's all I know. He says, I will do a show. There you go. You'll do my show? No, you'll do uh, my show. Well, you don't. You can do a show, but I'd do mine first before, you know. <laughs> I've, known Welshie, you I've, known I've known Welshie for three and a half years. He's got to do my show before yours. Uh, you know what? He's a free man. He can do whatever he wants. First of all, he married a Spanish woman. Oh, and, wow. you know, that, makes him, that's, that makes him exotic. That makes him exotic. It does, Absolutely. yeah. If you, if you marry a woman from a different ethnicity, you are automatically, you gain points in being exotic and worldly. You betcha. Welsh Whiskey Pilgrim's got to go. See you later, buddy. If any of you guys get a chance, go over to his channel and subscribe. And he just started doing some reviews. And uh, he's got a pretty good... In take on uh whiskey so give it a shot and don't be shy welsh needs to do his own show from spain that would be very very good especially if his spanish wife is in the back cooking spanish food for him while he's doing it more points if they're puerto rican alabart more points if oh as in barts yeah puerto rico yeah Puerto Rico. So, how you like your Anok? You're going to do an unofficial review of it? Maybe. I like it. I like, I like it, it a lot. lot. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. It's now, good stuff. It's tasty. <laughs> uh, mm. You guys. I'm going to mm. stick with my lovely Julia. Julia Gulia. Julia loves everybody. Julia's awesome. Yeah. She uh she told I was telling Daniel I'm buying a new motorcycle and she's like, Don't do it, Swami, don't do it. <laughs> well, she thought you still owned one. Yeah, you have to remember that I have 
I have five motorcycles sitting in my garage and she's like, why do you, last year I rode one of my motorbikes to a coffee shop and home. That's it. I never even got to ride it because I was out of town working so much. So. Yeah. You didn't ride at all. I rode nonstop. I did the exact opposite of you. I rode nonstop last year. I did uh, at the end of my season, in, including the route 66 trip total, I did 12,300 kilometers during wow. the season. I, you and I are doing pretty good. We got we got uh, eighteen viewers. We had How twenty thumbs at one point, but then I started. I talking. got I got six likes and eighteen thumbs down because Swami's on the show was what it said. Nice, awesome. <laughs> no thumbs down right now. <laughs> Just the thumbs up. Thank you very much, guys. You have only tried the airport Anox. So, first of all, did you like it, Rooney? Second of all. I was expecting to find more things that I liked at the airport. And fortunately, I, you know, I wised up a little bit about some of these whiskeys and just because they say they're limited or exclusive. And I only brought two back from there. And that's the, uh, both of them were, were Brook Laddies. One is the, the eight year old. And for one of the good things at the airport, at the duty free airport is you can try them all. So this I is their. Have I have this one. Yeah, so and I and I love those. Which one is that? It's just the, the regular Ready Classic, the Scottish yeah. Barley. There's it's a phenomenal whiskey in my opinion. Uh, this is fifty percent ABV. I was quite fond of it. Um, and then I got oh, I'll show you that after. Like oh, almost threw this no bottle on us. And I that got this one here. That's that's sold in Quebec though. It's not just an airport exclusive. They have it was. Exclusive. It's a limited. You're right. It might be just a limited. Are you saying that you have the CC01? No, but my friend Julien, who you've seen that I'm Kibala Whiskey, who's been on my channel, who's a partner of my channel. I can't say he's been on my channel. He's a partner of my channel. Um, has that bottle, so I've got to try it. It was pretty damn tasty. Yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> heavily peated, but it's done in cognac, right? Yeah, Barrel. but the, I still think that the Port Charlotte 10 was a better bottle. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. And I'm happy to say that I got my latest High West camping mug. I love these mugs. This will be the third one they've sent me. One day I'm going to pour, uh, I don't know, where is it? Oh, there's a High West 21-year-old. I think that's what will go in this mug. Mm. And you'll fill it with Coke. Rooney has five of them. Listen, Rooney, settle down, man. What do you need so much? You got a problem, dude. I think you need counseling. Just joking. Kilted Moose is here again. Again, everybody's been in here. Uh, that's a good one, the CC. Yeah, well, I hope to. It was great at the airport, so. Whiskey shenanigans. They sent you? No. What do you mean they sent me? Uh, the crosstalk is throwing me off. I need you. I need to send you some things. When is your infinity challenge? Oh, the mash and drum has an infinity challenge. Uh, what else is going on in here, buddy? You got keeping up on it? I'm keeping, I'm just reading the chat. Uh, they're kind of talking amongst themselves. Uh, mash drum's going to go live with whiskey shenanigans on Wednesday. I've had Mike on my channel. He's good. Yeah, it was fun. Fun well, time. Yeah, Jason. Oh, yeah, they send it to you. You sign up and you become a High West whatever, and they mail them to you. Yep. Yeah, I've, had you do. I've had Mash and Drum on my channel as well. I've had Mash and Drum in shenanigans. I've had everybody on my channel. Yeah, well, you're just a YouTube whore. No, it's not that. I'm not a whore because I don't go on other people's channels. Other than yours. Here we go. Here, I've got one. Of course, it's a freebie they sell. I've got an Akintoshan. Tin That's cup. A, Those are great. I love stand up again, Daniel. Stand up. Stand up. I want you a t-shirt. I want you. People, this is this is a body brought to you by uh toaster strudels and bagel bites. <laughs> Listen, I don't even have to ask you to stand up to make fun of you. Your face says it all. <laughs> and it says more than it should. It says you're pretty. Rooney, Rooney has a lot of stuff, man. Yeah, so anyway, to answer your question, here's my High, high West collection. And they send them out every year. All right, there you go, High West. 
and I like them. And they make a lot of noise, so they're awesome because they drowned out Swami and his giant nostrils when he breathes. You ever watch that guy nose a glass in his old reviews? He's going to suck the Glen Karen etching right off the bottom with that nostril. Snuffleupagus freaking thing he's got there. Quiet, okay. Stop getting so frothy at the mouth. Uh, don't make me come over there, you little punk. Be quiet, old man. Take it easy. I, 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 whiskey Quest, you're right. I like High West. I mean, I know that most of their whiskey was sourced in the beginning. Uh, the 21 year old is actually Canadian whiskey. Their 21 year old rye, that's all Canadian. That's right from Alberta, right here. It's some good stuff. So, Daniel, what's uh, what, what's the best video you've watched from a, a whiskey tuber channel in the past couple of weeks? What's your favorite video that you saw? In the last couple weeks? Yeah. Keep me, oh, keep me I haven't watched any, so what, what's been the best one? I don't know. I, you know what? If I was going to say my favorite 2018 whiskey tuber show to watch, the one show was yeah. Captain 3D. Who's Captain 3 wife. When they Who's did Captain the 24 3D? whiskeys. Who's Captain 3D? Captain 3D is a new guy. He's not, he's actually not a whiskey reviewer. They live in California. Yeah. And him, him and his wife, his wife is deaf and she she reads lips. But they went, they videoed it. It's a cool little video, especially way, the way they edited it. And they did 24 whiskeys. They walked in there and bought 24 whiskeys and did a blind tasting. And they almost kind of made it when they got to laying them out. I can't believe you never heard about these guys. Nope. They they did it with uh, they did it almost like the Oscars. They laid them out on their floor. They live they live very simply, and they had they have some money to splurge, and they kept seeing all the whiskey people and everything. So they they uh, they decided, you know what? Let's see what's in in this whiskey journey thing. And they went and bought twenty four different whiskeys and compared them and picked That's their favorites. Nice. You got to see it. It's 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 it, it's ingenious. People were saying they were on Roy. Yeah, he had them as guests on their show. Yeah, Captain Captain what again? Captain Captain Three D. Captain. That 3D. would be my 2018 whiskey reviewer. With one video, you're asking me about one video for 2018. 2019, I, man, I don't know yet. I. Honestly, I haven't watched that many, right? I haven't you, seen any. So I'm I lost gotta now. Out, I got to check out Jeremy. Now I want to check out Jeremy's video over Lake Valley. <laughs> well, Jeremy's doing good. Um, Whiskey yeah. Quest and Whiskey uh, the Mash and Drum. I like those guys. I haven't uh, tried. I, you know how it is. I'm out of town. I, I work. It's hard to keep up with everybody, man. And, yeah, and I think it goes for all of us. Yeah. No, I, I, I liked, uh, I, like I said, I, I've been watching a lot of Whiskey Quest and uh, JDC Drinks, who I like a lot. Um, I bring him up a lot because I think he's an underrated channel. He's he's a very thespian-style kind of guy. He makes me laugh. Uh, I can't believe that he talks like that in real life. So it just uh, it's it's almost like watching Tim Curry do uh, whiskey reviews. So Okay, cool. Cool. Um, let me catch up on the chat here. I agree. The organic tool nine is great from Brook Laddie Rooney. Um, uh, boom, boom, boom. High West virtually vanished in the UK. Yeah. Well, you know what? We haven't been getting any new stuff up here in Canada either because they sell out down there. Jason Fist says Seagram's for some reason. High West included some of their own distillate and a few of their whiskeys in 18. Yes, they did. Very uh, true. Morgan says Ralphie. I agree with the Ralphie thing. I stopped watching Ralphie for about a year, and then I started watching him again. And I like Ralphie again. One reason why it's just he's just organic, and he's just doing what's traditionally supposed to be done, and it's just fun well, to watch. He, him. he changed it up a little bit, and one of the things I liked he he stopped his commentary. He does his whiskey review. And whatever number review he's at, if he's at review number, video number 800, the next one is 800 extras where he does his, Yeah, you know, if he, he, for example, in one of them, he mentioned a distillery that is a silent distillery. And instead of 
going on and on about what he means by silent distillery. He continues that on as the next video, and I kind of like that touch, right? Yeah. I just I just like the fact that, you know, he's just him. He's not, he's not selling anything. He's not trying to, I don't know, pal up with, like, everybody. He's just being him, and I'm kind of using him more as an example of where I'm trying to go with my channel. Um, yeah. My wife is home. Hold on. I'll be right back. Oh. You gotta let her in. You lock her out of the house. Yeah. It's probably just feeding time. It's probably just feeding time for Swami. Um, Ralphie has a ton of it. Yeah, he has. Well, he's been doing it for ten years or nine years, ten years. You know who else does? And and actually, Food Quick. I liked his last video that he did from the uh, from the Victoria Whiskey Festival. He has. Uh, I'm uh, gonna move. Phil? I'm gonna move us to the office. It's not that hard. I'm on the phone. I'm just so my wife need shit. Oh. Give me a minute before the wife throws something at you. I can't wait. One day I'm gonna see a frying pan hit you right in the side of the head. Hey, I swear. You to you. Do that if you go on into my channel. Check out uh, when I had Bubba and the beard on. Uh, it was like about two years ago, and my wife uh, got really, really pissed off, and I kept it up. I didn't even take it down. I like that video. She got so mad. It was almost as bad as when Julia got pissed at you during your don't airs thing. Got really yeah, but Julia wasn't there, and she didn't stay mad very long. Oh, she did. You told me. You were on the couch. She calculator. actually was more mad about the stupid comments coming from Montreal. <laughs> no, uh, Rob, uh, thanks for asking. I have not found a Talisker. I don't even look at Taliskers usually. I bought that 18-year-old because somebody was ordering it and wanted a few extras, so... So we ordered an extra one. It came through customs. So that was a good experience to see how we can order stuff. The South Florida Pete love us have a ton of stuff too. They review stuff like Yama. Yeah, they're they're actually uh, interesting characters there, Welsh. They were on Whiskey in the Sixes show. They were pretty funny in there. Swami isn't. Yes, he's probably in trouble, sort of, whatever. Swami, you know. That guy's always in trouble. That's right. What did, you, what did you forget out there? All right, because so, uh, after I'm done my Anok 18, I'm going to move on to a Spring Bank 12 cast run. Well, I'm drinking a Glen Guile distillery right out yeah. of the live cask. Ooh, come on, man. I got to edit my videos about my trip. That's what I got to learn to do. Your Scotland video. Make it fun, though, fuck. I'm so bored of. I'm not. I am, but, but I got a lot to learn. Videos are like becoming whatever. Look, it's I time consuming. If you've never done it, it takes a long time to make one, whether it be fun or not. So at some point, maybe you'll get more. Uh, <laughs> I might have to break them into smaller videos, right? Keep, yeah, keep them at about two minutes. Don't put any like gay fiddle music in the background. Like you're, you know, don't like pretend that you're on some sort of religious quest. It's like just make it Daniel, make it you. Uh, yeah. Why don't I? Okay, I'll make it me because right now I was just about to say, why don't I make it like I'll, I'll do, I'll do them as premieres on Malted in Montreal, and we'll do it his way. <laughs> I Shut up! Done. It's my channel. I'll do it the way I want to do it on my channel. Oh, Stop worrying oh, about what everybody else oh, is doing. Down and leave stupid comments on all of them. That's all I have to say. I can go, you can comment whatever you want. It still doesn't hurt the channel if you comment negatively. It's why does everybody always worry about it? You had I a, had attack an attack of gout. Uh, well, Welsh Toro had an attack of gout last week. Oh. The only thing that could put me in a wagon for a couple of days. It's probably all that rich Spanish cooking your wife does for you. Can't be the whiskey. Only people I know that I wouldn't blame the whiskey. Toro, you're not that old. I only I've only heard like really. It's not about age. It's about uh, uh, I, now. I forget the. It's a type of acid buildup in your body. Ah, uh, okay. And a lot of times it's, it is caused by diet, I think. I thought it was people that ate like Jewish delis all the time or something that got gout. No. Well, um, other, well, then you'd have it. So I don't eat a Jewish delis, you fucking racist. Right. Whatever. <laughs> we know that you just have clip-on uh, little curly things for the side Daniel, of your head. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel you're going to get your video flag. Don't go too far. I never went it's anywhere. I never said a word. You put curly little hair clips on your face. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I'm not monetized. I'm not worried about that stuff. All you guys worry about it. Eh? Yeah, I bet it hurts. 
I make mine Viking whiskey review, roaring and yelling, swords and skulls. Rooney, if you did a video like that, it would be freaking awesome. What I really want to see is what we talked about, where you have a distillery. It's either in operation now on the Faroe Islands, and they're talking about storing the whiskey in caves that are in the ocean. Now, I don't know how you're going to secure them in there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm but that would be awesome, right? Swami's actually thinking maybe one day I can put hair barrettes on and look yeah, cute. This is just so from Alberta. <laughs> you are. Does it have to be really? Jewish? No, I don't know what it. What I have no idea why people keep bringing up Jewish. Or it's not me. Swami would look nice with curly hair. Yeah, he would look nice with curly hair. That's exactly what I'm saying, Sherry. Right? He'd look nice. Uric acid, yes. It's called uric acid. I've got about uh, 20 more minutes with you, brother. Then i got to get into my rabbinical studies. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even believe. he. Pro you know why he had his head back? He was practicing how to say that word. It probably took him that long to remember how to say it. <laughs> called something, sir, room, or banner, people that out there that Rudy. You know too much, man. Well, maybe there's no such thing as knowing too much, but you know a lot more than I do. Jeremy's Johnny Walker video hit 50K today. Getting over 10K a day in last... Wow, that's awesome. Who? Johnny Walker, uh, Social oh, Super Club. Jeremy, Jeremy. Okay, so that's why it hit 50K. That's awesome for Jeremy, man. I love... Super Social oh, awesome. you kind of share very much the same beliefs and tendencies when it comes to whiskey reviewing. So... I get along with Jeremy very well. And uh, as I was telling Daniel, in March, I'm going to be heading down to Toronto. So hopefully I'm going to be meeting up with Jeremy and Rob. I've already talked to Jeremy. I've talked to Rob a little bit about it. And um, i got to go visit my sisters. So while I'm down there, I'm definitely going to try to hook up with those two fine fellers. And we can get uh, drunk and have a good time in T-O, in the T.O. dot. Which Carnmore bottle, I'm being asked. Uh, which one is that? Where are you looking? Mike's doing some great solo shows, minus Billy. Uh, Mike Mike, and who? And thank you, Vegas, for your education. You know Mike and Billy. You know who Mike and Billy are. Uh, probably. I don't know what the name of the channel is by that name, though. I've had Mike and Billy on my show. I've had Mike and Billy. Uh, you, you, you keep forgetting. I, you think I actually watch your show? You think I watch your show? Uh, Mike and Billy. Billy. Billy's the bald one that kind of looks like Gimli from Lord of the Rings. Not Gim, not the other Gimli from the Whiskey Ball, but they, they kinda, he, he's like a bigger version of the, the bald guy from the Whiskey Ball. He's uh, a... Got the muscle tone. Keith and Mike should collaborate. Yeah. Uh, to answer your question, this is an Aaron. 1996 bottled in. Is that what you want to know, Robbie? Because you're a baller. I love uh, that. That was the best live I ever did with, where Billy went, uh, went mongoloid halfway through the review. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that's what that is. This is a 1978 Glen Rothis. Uh, a brand new grain tin that I just got at our grain only uh, SMWS tasting that we had on uh, on Friday. You got any more tastings coming it up? It was soon? very unique. What's that? You got any more tastings coming up soon? Uh, well, I think it's going to calm down right now because of the whiskey festival, everything just, you get smothered this last week, right? And then it goes away. <clears throat> Carnmore Lafroig 8, how was that, Welsh? Can you compare that, Lafroig 8? No, no, to the Talisker 8, and tell me what you think. Your internet's starting to fuck up. Mine is. Yeah, yours. You want the Bushmills. Yeah, well, you'll never get that Bushmills. You'll I'm never get it. it. Um, I shouldn't be. My signal's full blast here, brother. I think it may be coming from your end. No, my end's fine. I'm watching it right now on the, on the uh, YouTubes, and it shows me coming in crystal fucking clear. Um, what? Yeah, well, mine looks crystal clear, too, so I don't know. 
On my end, anybody like, else having a problem? Who who looks crappy? Me or or Swami? And what's so, a big F U sign off? What's that, Jason? <laughs> Absolute yeah, best Swami. Him. Oh, he's talking about when Mike and Billy came on the channel, right, and right. Billy 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 tried to look hardcore. It was funny. This Wolfburn is a land skip, it's called, and it's their cash strength. It's a 58.3. Um, I believe it is a non age statement, but it was very tasty. I uh, very seldom do I not to get to taste the bottle before I buy it. So, very fortunate that way. So, what did you think of the Anarch? You didn't even mention what you thought of it. I love the Anoc. That was great. It's great. Yeah, I'm not on that. What were the notes that you were getting off it? Uh, well, this is a neck pour, so it was very strong. Sherry is what I was getting mostly. Um, yeah, I'd have to pour a little more to, to be able to tell you. Billy would eat you, I bet you. I'm a lagging a little bit. I don't know what to do about lagging. I can change my Wi-Fi connection, but that'll really mess everything up um hey, you look fuzzy I my... uh, Ru Rooney says so and you seem to trust Rooney so there you go Swami looks crisp Daniel looks fuzzy here I am now drinking my spring bank let me know what Twitter. happens I'm drinking my spring bank 12 cast ring no lo <laughs> anybody lose me yet how do I look now hi you look fat, fat and fuzzy. Yeah, but I'm not ugly, and I can go on a diet, unlike that, you. That's, that's, that's debatable that you're not ugly, by the way. Very debatable. Uh, Strathclyde is, I believe you're right that it is, eh? Donner Press, how you doing? Mm. I look, I am pixelated. I like it that way. Mm. Well, it's crisp, crisp, crisp and clean on my end, but that's probably because... Has it improved yet? No. Well, it has. Your image has gone off the air. So. I don't know why I, I don't know that. I just see your whiskey throttle uh, insignia emblem. Are you serious? Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you fine. Well, then that's all you need. You don't need to see nothing else. You're a donkey. We just hear that slightly prejudiced voice of yours. There's nothing prejudice. I have no idea. Hey, hey, don't make me come over there, eh? Come on Something over. On screen. I love come on over. Just stay out of my fridge, you fat guy. Hit the refresh button. That's all I can do here is hit the refresh button, guys, and then maybe I'll come back. Don't. Just leave it. Whatever. We can hear you fine. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. It's coming back now. You're looking good now. There you go. There you go. You're a little fuzzy, but you're you're no longer lagging. Because I listened to Swami, I should have just left it alone. I can't believe this. Just a bad picture. I'm on a diet and working out like crazy. Rooney, you are, man. You should see this guy, man. He's working. Why is that? The wife put you on a diet or, or a different reason? Sipping a Springbank 18-year-old, 100% bourbon. No sherry in it. Get one if you can. I would agree. Who's paid, Rooney? What is mine? The one I have here. I got to look. Oh, I did get to try a really nice spring bank. Eh? Yeah. All bur I'm drinking nuts right now. That's what I was drinking there. Uh, with, uh, well, Storrow. Mm. But what I really liked was a one that's coming to us. It is Alberta exclusive only. Sorry, they're Rob. Always, they're always exclusive to every province and to every state they go to, by the way. It doesn't make it special. This is you know, whatever, Swami. Stop. Why do you always have to fuck? Jesus, mother fudger. You're fucking killing me here, man. Long Grow Winery. It's actually three to four years in Chardonnay from the Long Grow Winery. So, what you're saying is that whatever you get over there is exclusive to only Montreal? Yeah, Kill Woman and Spring Bank products are normally exclusive to wherever they go to because they're all small production. So they make batches for certain areas. It's sent oh. out. They say it's exclusive. It's also a way that they get to jack the price up. Maybe they do. Well, 
Not this one, Swami. Ha ha. Thank you very much, Jason Fisk. But don't 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 bother Swami, Jason. He is he always that me. way. He's not bothering me. Not this one. He's saying this one is actually an Alberta exclusive. Because they bought the entire barrel. Yeah. There you go. Just need to lose weight and build muscle, getting back my energy level, says Rooney. Right on, Rooney. Uh, that's not true. What's not? Oh, that's not true because you're going to. Well, I um, I might. You just keep it up, buddy, and see what happens. Keep what up? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to somebody else. He knows who it is. I don't need to say names. Oh, okay. They all need to know. You're always, Daniel, why can't you be a happy man? I am a happy man. People are antagonizing me right now, though. Why do you? But why do you let people antagonize you? Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Now it's turning into a therapy class. Yes, let's let's have a seat, Dave. Have a seat. I'm gonna have. Yeah, you don't want me to sit in your lap, you weirdo. Yes. That's weird. Of You're the only therapist that gets. <laughs> so that's why I charge a little less. If you sit on oh, the lap, is that what it is? <laughs> I don't think you're illegally allowed to charge at all. But anyway. <laughs> Thanks, hey, Jason. If Take the care. Whiskey, if the Whiskey Academy can do it, I can too. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, man. It's a free world. That's what they keep saying, yeah. right? My exotic Spanish wife is calling me. It's time for uh, to Ooh. tuck into extravagant microwave curry and uh, swish wine. God, uh, goddamn gout. Says well, Richard. buddy, you enjoy it. Take care of yourself. Get rid of that gout. And... Um, that's better than what I'm going to do. I'm going to go eat a uh, peanut butter sandwich. Mm. Mm, I'm going to put it on some like exotic bread, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to have exotic pizza. Yeah. The meat lovers from Pizza Hut. I, ha I bought an extra large meat lovers from Pizza Hut last night, and there's still a quarter of it in the fridge waiting for me. Oh, well, what you don't know is the wife's probably eating it right now. No. She eats salads and stuff. That's what women eat. Really? Oh. Lettuce and, and tomatoes. That's awesome. So how's your spring bank? The spring bank is gone. It's very, very good. Maybe I should make some samples of this and send it out. It's it's only a little bottle, 56.3%. I always forget that it's a higher ABV. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure, uh, well, it is. It's a Glengyle, so it's a Kill Karen, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are your, um, I don't even want to ask that. Never mind. That's a dumb question. The thing with the, with this part of the trip, like in Campbelltown, the part that was disappointing was that we were being rushed to get onto the uh, the bus that was taking us to the, to the ferry terminal. And so you could have spent a lot more time there, right? You could have spent a lot more time there and really, really enjoyed it and done some more stuff, especially in the Caden Heads uh, whiskey shop. So they had a lot of stuff in there. Question: are, Just, just for fun, question: Your plan? Do you are you trying to grow your channel, or you just want to have fun with it as it is? I'm having fun with it. Why? I mean, I think that, I, I mean, there are people that start YouTube. So we think that there's so many. One of the guys in here mentioned something, which is a valid comment. There are so many people doing whiskey right now that you cannot keep up with them. Well, guess what? Go look up guys that make knives. There are plethora of people making knives or turning wood or, or many different things, right? Yeah. Yeah, we were rushed there to there too to make the ferry. Did you buy anything from Caden Heads? We did. We bought a, a ten year old grain that Dave and I had sampled and we thought, yeah, we'll get that one. Uh well, I, don't, I don't think I bought anything from the cage, Ramrod. I've actually been thinking a lot about um kind of pulling a whiskey Wednesday and transferring my channel over to somebody else eventually. And doing a different channel, like a different name? No, I was thinking about just kind of uh, retiring from uh, the uh, whiskey community, and not right away, but within the next six or seven months, probably before 2020. 
Um, I, I love doing my channel and stuff like that, but um, maybe I'd come on like a guest occasionally. But I, I, there's a couple of guys that I've been thinking about giving my channel over to. So well, I think I've told you about that already. So there's like yeah, uh, do it. focus yeah. on focus on something else. That's all it is. Is other yeah. people are very focused on it, and and I appreciate. I'm a, I'm just a guy from the chat, so yeah. I actually enjoy all the guys in the chat. I actually enjoy, I like the premieres because then we can all be in the chat at the same time and, and still talk about the video, but not, you know, the, the people that are trying to do the video aren't worried about interrupting or, or, or following everybody in the chat. Yeah. Um, there's lots of different things that can be done. You just got to find your own path. And a big problem I, I I think I found my path perfectly fine. I just don't think I like the path of where whiskey reviewing is going as much. Well, then, so I, yeah. Well, we did that last time on your other live when I was on there. That's what you yeah. talked about, right? Yeah. So I don't. Know. I'm just I'm. I found um, I have more fun doing live shows about topics than I do about actually whiskey. I like doing topics. I like talking. I like uh, discussing. You can do those same topics not live, right? No, I like doing them live. It's yeah, fun. I, I, I like, like lives. I like the interaction. I like talking with people. The reviewing, I'm kind of just bored of doing, to be honest. That's why I, even like when I have days off like today, I don't really put out reviews anymore. It's just become kind of tedious to me. And there's so many people putting out um, reviews of the product that there's enough out there. Yeah, uh, and 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 who cares about another review, really? Yeah. What is a review? Yeah, it's just me telling. It's like movie reviewers. You know how many movies I've liked that the critics have not liked? Yeah, and I, I'm like, it's a great movie. I don't care why you don't like it, right? Uh, and it's the same thing. With I'm just kind of bored of doing it. I'm I'm not gonna lie. It's just I think I've just become, in all honesty, just bored of doing it. Like I like doing special things. Like um, something that like <clears throat> I'm planning on doing with a couple of channels, Canadian reviewers. Like I said, I, I can't talk too much about it because I don't know if they want me to say anything. But there's something that's going to be happening soon that's going to be kind of fun and interesting to do. Um, more experimental things like that, but just straight up reviewing to me for myself. I'm not saying this for other people, but for myself, it's become kind of just boring. I don't know. For me, I, I don't even enjoy doing them. If I'm going to be completely honest, well, then don't do them. Yeah, I don't. Know. I mean, I, I, I mean, you're saying it to me like I know. I don't think you're directly asking my permission, but just do, do it, right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not asking permission. I'm just kind of telling. I would. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, topics are great, and I think I agree with you. A lot of the guys in the chat, including the guys that are here now, and even some of the ones that left. It's it's yeah. topics and and I mean you know sometimes you've had to think about stuff to talk about like what are we going to talk about that's not repetitive we all know yeah. what we like and don't like and things are over marketed and things are under marketed or you know so whiskey's whiskey and it's phenomenal but I mean all you have to do is do a little research watch other things besides whiskey YouTube stuff and maybe something will come along that you like to. Yeah. To do because there's lots of people like like the guys that do blogs about their actual life and what's going on. I mean, how are you going to make your life interesting? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I really don't know. I well, no, I don't. What do you do day to day? You got to do something, and I mean, they have find a challenge too. What you're finding is that the what the benefit of YouTube is is that you get to do your own thing without a producer, a director, and all the people that are above them telling them this is what you have to do because they're based yeah. on ratings, right? Yeah. Well, Gary actually, says, I, don't, I don't care for the ratings anymore either. I, 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 the competitiveness edge that a lot of other people seem to have, I don't have. And I think you've known me for a while and you know, when I say this, I'm actually very honest about it. I, I literally don't care about the whole competitiveness or the growth or anything like that. It's more along the lines. I like, my channel more for getting to meet people like you and chat and have, you know, a drink and like, just talk and shoot shit. Like that's what I like doing. I've noticed more and more. It's what I enjoy to do. 
I like when I put Mike on or Julien or you or Rob or guys like that. And, sure, and 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 that's the way you want to do it. Like so I, I, I want the conversations to be natural and flowing, and, and, and I, don't want, I don't want it. I don't want it to be about like you know growth for each other and building up each other and. Uh, so then, don't worry about anybody else. Stop even watching their other shows or, or doing. Other I, I can't. I, I to be honest, I can't handle the other channels anymore because of it. I just won't. There watch you go. Then don't do it. Right. I mean, I I watch the ones that that I'm friends with and that they they reach out to me. Um, I don't know why all the guys in the chat are even here right now because this type of topic is like, who cares? They don't care about that stuff. They want to know about other things. So this so this it's week it's was an extremely hipster. <laughs> yeah, you're a hipster, all right. You're a wannabe. Yeah, I shop at secondhand stores. I own. A, uh, I don't think people know what a fucking hipster is. Honestly, that comment is kind of just stupid, JF fretless, because you obviously don't know what a hipster is. A hipster is pretty much simple. Someone that shops and buys secondhand records. No, no, that's what the marketing world has turned them into. You could be described as the original hipster because every time someone mentions something to you. You're like, yeah, like that's so old, man. I I listened to that, you know, before where, it was popular. Where, that's where, the way you are, Swami. Please, please, give me an example. Don't just shout opinion, say something. Give me an example of where I've stated something's old or anything like that. Well, I'm not, you didn't do it this time. But for example, I brought up the Spring Bank just now that it's exclusive. And you went, no, nah, they're all this way. You know, nothing, nothing. Nothing's cool, man. It's I am nihilistic. Good. That's true. That, but that definition wouldn't be hipster. It would be nihilist. I'm a nihilist. I'll agree with that. I'm 100% well, a nihilist. That is true. I'm a negative nihilist curmudgeon. Very I, mean, I think Very Jay Fretless and I can agree with that. Yeah. Hipster is a completely different thing. There's, that is not hipster. Hipster is like a guy that needs to be on trend and on point with everything. I don't follow trends for shit. So I would be actually the anti-hipster. Well, so yeah, you're you're a wannabe hippie, but you're not. I'm not a hippie. I'm a hippies. Once upon a time, used to be anti-society, and then all of a sudden they became hipsters. I don't think you guys know what things are. <laughs> no, you don't think anybody knows anything. No, I don't. I honestly, I I do think I am better than everyone else. Here. I know you do, <laughs> and that's just a. a a pre I wish Freud was here because he'd like, yeah, you, you probably had a love affair with your mom and you, you are whatever. Anyway, you're, you're an absolute freaking whatever. I'm sure you got me so flustered right now. I just want to drink my beer and think. Drink. Uh, and that's what Swami likes to be. Oh yeah. Truth on steroids, man. <laughs> Swami, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna sneak into his place or get somebody sneak in there and start injecting steroids in him, so he'll maybe his balls will drop and he'll talk a little more like a man. Yes. Anti-establishment all the way. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Who cares, man? Just be you. That's it. That's who I'm being. Right, but you don't have to tear everybody else down to be you, do you? Is that the only way you can be you? I don't tear anybody else down. I tear. I tear things that I see that are wrong down. Yeah. Yes. But by giving us your opinion. Yeah. But guess what? But everyone has the right to have their opinion. I don't force people to think like me. If they and want that's to. That's the absolute opinion. truth right there. You have the right to have your own opinion. So yep. keep it to yourself. It's your opinion. Nah. There you go. There, Jay, Jay, let, what's Jay saying? He says, my definition of a hipster was someone who hates what's in style or trendy. Whiskey reviews, everyone's doing it, blah. There, he just gave you an example of why you he would view you as a hipster. Well, yes, but, uh, but the actual definition of hipster is completely different to that. But who gave you that definition? Who gave you? a great shit disturber. That's good. I like that. Shit disturber is is 100% accurate, too. I'll take shit disturber. That, that is Listen, definitely, I'm, that's in, definitely in definitely. certain In certain groups of people, you and I would be considered the same in, yeah. in, in our approach to things, right? I'm you're, not you're necessarily, I think that. Maybe, you're more diplomatic than me. Well, because it's not worth not being diplomatic, right? Yeah. But it's because you're old and you've kind of lost your your anger edge. I no, still have. no. <laughs> I've just learned that if I keep the edge sharp and quiet, mm -hmm. 
it's still as sharp and it goes in and it's too late when you mm. feel the knife. Mm. And it twists. Right. The verbal knife, right, is just yes. too much for you to handle. It's not the worth it, man. The whiskey bloke is great. It. That's another guy I like. I like the whiskey bloke. I like yeah. the whiskey bloke because he really doesn't give a fuck. He, he's like, he's having fun when you see it. And he's not, you know, he's not there, whatever. I, I'm not gonna but that's it. because he's not, care he doesn't care about the other people. He just does his thing. Yeah. He's not comparing himself to anybody else, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, you got quiet all of a sudden because I got outspoken to, for you or what? No, no, I'm listening to you. All right. You Listen, man, there's lots of great things I like about you and vice versa, I think, but it doesn't mean that we're always going to see eye to eye, sure. right? But Daniel, honestly, I, I'm no longer your friend after this live show. Okay. <laughs> I can't make you stay my friend, and I, you know, I never, I've never had you as a friend in the first place. Yeah, it was your first mistake thinking I wanted to be friends. Oh, that see the knife went in. See, yeah. <laughs> now you know me. I could, I could care less. This is actually fun for me. This is what Daniel knows of me. Like I like this. this yeah, is, well, I, I can yeah. understand that, but again, there's a way that we can do it without annoying or attacking everybody. I didn't attack anybody this show. No, I didn't say you did this show. I didn't but do any attack. You will later. I feel for your wife. <laughs> I feel for her too. Yeah, but that's because <laughs> she pokes you in the eye and you can't see anything. Am I missing a label on here? Oh, no, it's handwritten. I have a nice sample here to try. March 1700. Uh, what is that? Always be yourself unless you're a Viking. Then be a Viking. Unless yeah. you're Highland Park. Unless you're Rooney, Highland Park. Rooney is a real Viking. Not like Highland Park? No, Rooney would destroy those guys at Highland Park. I would like to lock Rooney and Cam into a room together and see which one came out. Cam, hey, Cam Miller, I, like I said, he, he he's a friend of mine. Uh, he's done interviews. I like the guy. He's... He's a scripted rep. They're all scripted. You know, it's it's an unfortunate thing, but uh, nothing wrong with Cam. He's making his living. Hey, but Richard, he to, how you doing? You just can't take what they're saying, like, you know, too seriously. You have to understand and make your own opinion at the end of the day. Sure it is. I met Cam. I, yeah. that's, and that's what you missed. I, I, I think I sent you a picture of it, so you finally got it. But I, I deliberately took a picture, selfie with him, so that you would see that I finally met him. Right? Yes. I took the picture before I told him I knew you. <laughs> well, Cam, Cam is uh, still a good friend of mine. Like I have no issues with Cam. I, uh, Cam, as a person, is fine. It's the company he represents that I have issues with. Well, that's okay. He poured me a nice dram from underneath the, the sample table. I'm just pouring myself. Um, Give me a minute. Whiskey Whistle. It's a Brook Laddie. 10-year-old, uh, second edition, 50% ABV, because I need a drink after all this banter. Thank you very much, boys. Uh, what's, who's going in here? Was that a urine? <laughs> no, that's not a urine sample. This is actually from Whiskey Whistle when I was in Manitoba. It is a Brook Laddie. Uh, second edition, 10-year-old. It's a 50% ABV. And I just poured it all over my whatever table, but that'll just add flavor and character because this is a wood table. Swami loves McAllen. Yep. And Dalmore. He uses Dalmore as his deodorant. Yep. I rub it all over my balls. No. Um, so anyway... So, oh, whiskey whistles there. I'm sorry, my chat thing, uh, my my computer, uh, my laptop died where I had the chat going, so I'm not seeing anything right now. So I'm just talking to uh, you. Sher Sher Sherry Malt Drams, yes, somewhere said. Uh, first of all, Richard Blanchus said check me, and then Sherry Malt Drams said was asked if that was a urine sample <laughs> container that I poured out of here, which is was a given to me by. Uh, Whiskey Whistle. Uh, Rooney wants to know how long you and I have been married. 
Um, two years. <laughs> I said we, we. I sent them the picture on Facebook. It said that we've been in a relationship for two years, uh, an abusive relationship. Yes, um, that's why I'm standing up for myself, and I'm in a secret location so Swami can't meet me and abuse me anymore. Go ahead, I'm the Ike Turner, and he's the Tina. No, 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 I am. And and Swami still loves my legs, though. So. Oh yeah. Tony Evans, hey. thank you for very very much for coming in. And have a good night, my friend. I hope you dream about whiskey all night long. Oh, that's sweet. And Swami just went to fill up his douche flute. It's a robo dick. Get it right. Well, what do the hipsters call it? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm pretty sure the, the that's what you should do is your own douche flute channel. Douche where, flute you, where you review different douche oil. Well, I'm going to continue to be a thorn in the side of the whiskey community because that's what's fun for me. How's that? <laughs> You're yeah, just a thorn. Fun that's what's fun for me. What's fun for me is just pissing off the whiskey community. <laughs> what, if, why if, do you want to do that? It. Because it's fun. Jeez, I can understand. I can it's understand. It's my personal amusement. My personal amusement. I don't care about it. Oh, else. okay, okay, okay. You want to be the ultimate antagonist. Do you? The ultimate troll of the whiskey community. Why not? It's fun. At least I show my face. I don't hide behind a me. I just well, come out and do it. Don't get me wrong. If there's any, any time I have anything, if I was to say I don't like this about Swami, I could never say it's be. Well, no, I could say it's because of Swami's face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had to say that, but anyway, McAllen's Gold is Swami's whiskey of the year. Yeah. Do I even own a Macau? I think I bought the Sienna when they first came Followed out. Followed by the Devil's Cut. Well, yeah, see, here's the number one thing with Devil's Cut. We make jokes about it, but ultimately, Devil's Cut is just uh, Jim Beam's un diluted. It's only di it's diluted five percent less than the regular stuff. Mm -hmm. So you might as well buy it because at least you're getting a little bit better, and it's almost the same price. That's yeah. the only thing. It, it's five percent more alcohol than the regular white label, right? Pardon? That's all it is. What, what I don't like about Devil's Cut isn't the whiskey. If you're gonna have a, a bourbon and you want a plain Jane, normal, this is what we give you. Get mm -hmm. the Devil's Cut because you're getting five percent more ABV, and they 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 the marketing parts what bothers me that they say mm -hmm. we found a way to get more out of the wood. Horseshit! You found how. If we put less water in, we dilute it less. Don't blow sunshine up our asses. Mm. And this is pretty good for McAllen's 10-year-old. Mm, it's got I'm a nice... Spring Bank 12. I've got my infinity bottle in yeah. this, uh, this horrid, horrid... Uh, the only good thing about Crown Royal is making infinity bottles out of them after you've emptied them out. So here's the other thing. This is the part... I don't even know where my... I have a bottle of the original... Harvest rye, yeah. And I also have a. I bought a bottle. I have. I think I have one unopened, and I have an open bottle of the bourbon mash. Yeah. My my thing about the bourbon mash, guys, is that everybody's slamming it because it's got the word bourbon on it. But ultimately, if that was what Crown Royal put out as regular Crown Royal all the time, Crown Royal would be a better whiskey. And Diageo didn't buy Crown Royal for the whiskey in it. They bought it for the shape of the glass. That that's yeah. why that never changes. Yeah. Think I'm wrong on that, or what? Do you, what's your opinion? Well, I honestly think that Crown Royal, if it's drank for what it intentionally was meant for, to me, it's a mixer. It's not a sipping whiskey. If it's, uh, I, I always have a bottle of Crown Royal at my bar for or Canadian Club or something like that, or when guests come over to mix with ginger ale or whatever they want to make out of them, if they want to make, you know, old fashions or whatever. So that's what I keep it around for. Did if you try, good. have you tried any of the, the Akintoshan bartenders malt? No, um, I really, really am a big fan of the Akintoshan 12. I hate pretty much every other Akintoshan. Well, I don't hate, hate's a strong word. I don't really care for any of the other Akintoshans I've had. I've had up to the 21. I've had the 18, the 21. The, I think it's the American Wood or what? what's the other one? The American Wood? Uh, American Oak, yeah. American Oak or whatever. They're all 
crap to me, really. The uh, the twelve the year old, is, the twelve the year old, is where, the twelve year old is where it's at on the Okintoshin, uh, Okintoshin, if you want to pronounce it properly. Um, which I don't pronounce anything properly, so I'm not making fun of Daniel. I'm saying I fuck up every whiskey in the world. So but, we all do. Are you you always make fun of me, and now you're going to stop you chicken lily livered little yellow bus teacher Macquarie. I sometimes don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's supposed um, to understand that I was saying it because now, you know, like, I don't even know what I said, guys. I can't be hate speech. Yeah, there you I, go. At your shop, do you have an anti-hate speech on the on the front of your restaurant? Um, I, it, it, Listen, my, my I'm not going to talk about where I work. So. No, but listen, some guy, one of the guys at, at one of the stores I go to. Really I've already had about three people recognize me at my job, so, and it's becoming very apparent that like and I, I'm not growing a head, big head, but it's becoming very apparent that my channel is getting me some unwanted attention. So what you need to do is just wear a wig. I don't know, maybe get maybe. a toupee. No, but it's been very positive interactions whenever someone's uh, recognized me, and they they always state they appreciate what I do. And uh, I find I, that I, funny, by the way. Just so you know, here I, I heard some people asking uh, Food Quig, "Hey, have you?" Uh, did you get noticed at the Victoria Whiskey Festival? I'm like, do you know how many years he's been going there? He gets noticed all the time, not just because like, he was not famous but noticeable before. He's been putting out Food um, food Quig's Victoria Whiskey Festival stuff for several years, right? Yeah. It's not, you know, it just makes me laugh that everybody thinks he's, he was just a blip on the radar before the, uh, the big hit on his video. Quig, Quig is the only, the only guy – right now out of the old school og reviewers that i respect if i can say that very quickly yeah. and fully. all right here's, he's, here's he's, the thing swami he's is the only, can i finish please i'm sorry he's yep. the only Go ahead. i one, thought you were done i'm sorry i'm not he's you the only one on sentences he's, he's the only one oh, mother <laughs> uh, he's the only one he's the only one that's not pushing any fucking product He's the only one who doesn't give a fuck if he grows or if he doesn't grow. He's just doing it, and he's doing it the way he wants to do it. He's been doing it the way he's been wanting to do it for 10 years, as he said. And Absolutely. fucking awesome, all right? And uh, he doesn't get enough credit for that. And all, all these fuckers, all you subscribers out there, all you care about is, like, seriously. It, like, Anyways, I don't even want to get into it. But, no, but, but listen, uh, listen. The thing is, Swami... You're absolutely right. He's he's very genuine. He can't go to all three days of the Victoria Whiskey Festival, which they they actually kind of insist on you buying. But yeah. he still, um, he still talks to the right people in the right manner, and yeah. he gets in for whatever day he's he is. Turned, he's not turned his fucking channel into a business. End of story. That's yeah, what it is. I understand really? what you're saying. But the, here's here here's the point I was going to try to bring up, like. Whether I like somebody or not, yeah. or, or or agree with certain things, you can always still continue to be, and I'm not good at this, I'm no different than you, be respectful. And that's the, the one thing I've been trying to do over the years, right? Be respectful whether you agree with somebody or not. I'm respectful to a point. Like, there are people that I respect, like, um, let's say, Rob Whiskey and the Six, who I respect immensely as a friend and a person. And, um, by the way, I'm not seeing I – don't, I, I don't know what's going on in the, the chats. I haven't seen the chat for a good half an hour. So if you want to let me know what's going on in there, um, I'm sure people are losing their shit. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. Uh, there's Rob, Jeremy, who I like a lot as people because – you know, I just respect their opinion and they, they're very straightforward about it. Even if, even if some of them will go towards a business aspect of it, they don't go full blown retard business aspect of it. Where there's others that I just find to me, I don't know how to say it uh, in a proper, non unpolitically correct kind of way, are just destroying what the whole whiskey review community was supposed to be about in the first place. You know what I mean? And uh, it's whatever. It's just my opinion. No one has to share it. People can do what they want, be who they want to be, act the way they want to be. But I'm just not afraid to state what I want to say. So I, I just say it. And That's I okay. And, and, and you're prepared for, and as you have, because today is the first time I've really spoke back to you in a yeah. long one. Yeah. Is, is 
can't if you can dish it out, you've got to be able to take it. And you know how to take it. Yeah. <laughs> You've been you were you were in the whiskey chats uh, when we had the whiskey chat community stuff, and you saw that I fought back with the uh, the best of them. And yeah, yeah, that's all fine. I mean, I, I mean, those are yeah. So anyway, I think a lot of times people forget that we're just normal, and, yeah. and they forget that not just about us, but about anybody. You know, I'm no celebrity just because I have a whole bunch of bottles behind me. I actually, used to think the opposite. I There's a guy that can't control himself, and he buys everything he sees. You know, no, I, like I said, the people I'll talk to the people I want to talk to and the people I respect. If you see me on a channel, it's because I respect the person. If you see me on a, uh, if I'm inviting someone on my channel, it's also because I respect them, unless it's for a confrontation, which again, the invitation is there. Whiskey vault, come at me, bro. I want you guys on my channel any day for confrontational reasons only though. Not because I like you, because I don't respect any of you in any way or form. I would love to have you on my channel. Just yeah, but so that's I, not to say that you could not respect them at some point. I don't. I, I will respect them if they come on my channel and uh, they 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 fucking face the fucking music. Yeah, but maybe them. maybe if you opened it up as a proper channel of communication. <laughs> no way. No. Okay. You just want them to come on a channel so that you can publicly humiliate them. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what if it turns around the other way and they publicly humiliate you? I don't think they could. No? No, I, I don't have much to lose. <laughs> no, I guess you don't have as much to lose. And I, I don't agree with everything, but I also, my own personal research, and in my own opinion, it's business. They're just doing business, man. That's all. It's it, We can go down the, the line of, of customer be aware. They should pay attention to certain things, right? Yeah. No, that's true. People... People have uh, people have to at the end of the day understand that it's their responsibility to uh, spend their money wisely on what is you know what they want to do. If they want to just go hang out for a week, like I said, if people are going there just to fucking hang out, um, um, I'm going to keep this really short because I know Dad doesn't want to talk about the subject. If people are just going to that certain thing because they want to freaking have a hangout session and drink with people, fine. That's not an issue, but it's more, I'm saying for the people that are going there thinking that they're actually going to get an education, you know, the, that's who I'm talking to when I think that it's being misrepresented. Well, that's yeah, I'm not, I'm not dis disputing things with you that way. If you, there are, everybody has their own agenda here. That's it. Bottom line, right? We can go back. The, the, the prime example that I think is being set for anybody that wants to talk or do things about whiskey, and I mean, it, it's a cliche, we say it so much right now, would be Ralphie, because he will not accept anything from anybody, not even a book. Sure. Um, he will, he does have a Patreon account and all that stuff, right? Um, but he, he even says in his introduction video of Patreon, you know what he says? What? He says... Five bucks is enough, guys. Just buy me a dram. I don't. He, he doesn't at all talk about needing anything. Now, a lot of the they don't ask for that either. I've had some guys tell me, "Hey, man, you give me too much, you do enough already." Yeah. Well, I told you. I've, I've told I've told Rob. I've told people that when they come, like when I do my live shows, and like uh, Rob or Scott from Scotch Just Dummies comes on and gives me a super chat, or even you with your sixty nine cents. Um, I tell you, no, guys, it's like, 99 you, cents. Not my fault. You have to give some of it to somebody else. <laughs> but I was still the first guy to ever give you a super chat. That's all it counts. I know, I know, I appreciate. But like, honestly, I make enough money that I the super chats. That's nice. It, it's nice as a support mechanism, meaning like people support you, but right. it's not needed. Um, I, I will be honest. Uh, back in the day when I first started my channel. I accepted free bottles from distributors. I've told you that, Daniel, in the past. Uh, that has stopped for a long time. It's been a good two years since I've gotten a free bottle from anybody. Um, once I started making my enough money to do my own shit and the, um, what, what is it uh, called? When the uh, allure wore off of getting free shit, when the, uh, ooh, cool, I'm getting free stuff shit uh, wore off, I just said, fuck it, I don't want any more free bottles. I'm going to do it on my own. Actually, I'm going to be very, very open here and tell everybody how many free bottles I've received. Zero. Not that I'm comparing this to anything else, but that does not mean, like, look here. And I have actually put it out on Instagram. You see all those sample bottles? All of those 
okay came from two different people really actually i've got some from whiskey whistle that's what's uh that little bottle and i got uh two of the three bottles that uh roy brought me on my trip rare mm -hmm. drams the rep rep for rare drams gave me tons of these they were and they're not ones that they gave them to me really because he knows i'd never be able to buy them because yeah. they're gone though getting free bottles from friends who just give you free bottles is yeah. much different than gaining free bottles from a representative or a company who absolutely. wants to review their product. Absolutely. Um, I would I rather. Did, I did uh, get free bottles from distributors at the beginning of my channel, and I was very open and honest about that. And after a while, it felt dirty, so I stopped accepting them. Um, and I felt like I got to practice what I preach. I can't, you know, bad mouth other people. For taking free balls and i'm taking free balls so it just didn't work out for me so i stopped doing it and uh you know it was uh but eventually everyone who starts a channel once they hit a certain number i think it's usually once you get to about six seven hundred subs you might get a representative that's going to give you a call and ask you if you want some product it's and usually it, not one of the higher end like no. ambassadors it's usually yeah. somebody that's helping distribute it and so forth yeah. You know, I mean, here here's the honest thing. The last two people I interviewed, that was set up through the reps. And I, I really appreciate it because, first of all, I like the whiskey from both of those people. Mm -hmm. um, I understand that there's marketing involved. But uh, for me, on my, my trip to Scotland, Springbank, the very fact that the guy has left that distilleries to the community the guy that owns it could sell it. He could. He doesn't even need to sell it to retire. But here he is, a guy that actually went and bought a Kia because it had mm -hmm. a 10-year warranty instead of a luxury vehicle, right? He's probably a guy with a lot more common sense than some because he's like, this Kia will get me everywhere I need to go in this area of the world just as well as any other vehicle, right? Like, like I'll give I'll give an example here. Um, you've got you've got Rob Whiskey in the Six, who is making some good money off his channel, but you can see where the money off his channel is going to because Rob is gathering up bottles that there's no way in hell I could afford to buy, and you know probably Rob couldn't afford to buy them before his channel started making money. But at least you know the money he's making off his channel is going right back into his channel, which is nice because he's like being able to review. 30 year old bottles and 40 year old bottles and he's having a good time with it, you know, and it's, it's providing entertainment for people who are watching him. But at least you can see that probably a hundred percent of the proceeds that go to Rob are going right back to his channel. Well, he's, you got to realize he's a smart man. He does a lot of sharing and a lot of trading. Yeah. He doesn't just, he, you know, really what it, we don't know what, what he spends. He's got two, two brand new babies. He's got a, he's got a wife. Really? He's got his own business. You know, I mean, everybody assumes that somebody makes so much money, but really, let's be honest, it's, it's, you know how to plan things out, right? Yeah. So, no, but I'm saying I'm giving him, I'm giving him kudos. Like, cause it's like, no, I know using, you are. Yeah. He's using the money positively that people are sending him because people are sending him the money because they want to support his channel and he's using the money back into his channel, which is That's nice. Right. So, okay, awesome. I just got a big thank you on a text here from somebody in a, in another area. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything other than this. I'll tell you something. It's side. This is totally sideways from what we're talking about. But mm -hmm. some someone somehow because a, a distributor changed with a certain distillery, and mm -hmm. a new guy was filling in, and I don't think he put his full heart into this. And this is, we're talking about a guy that filled in for a few months for a certain distributor. All of a sudden, their exclusive barrel that they mm -hmm. bought was being sold on the uh, in five different uh, liquor stores in Alberta. Right. <laughs> because and I, I just if it doesn't open up, like, like, like the SMWS whiskey, by the way, if it when it is opened and put into the liquor connect which is the government warehouse the guys that are in charge of it have a matter of of a minute or two to move it to a an allotted area that 
that is for the people that can buy it only, right? So somehow their product got put out there and they're probably out quite a few, quite a few things. So anyway, I just got, to, I was surprised to get that text and it was just fortunate that I, I decided I wanted to find out more about this bottle. Mm -hmm. There's only 180 of these bottles. They bought the entire cask, right? Which could cost them anywhere between 10 and $20,000 really um, to buy a cask, depending on what it is. And so they, they, they were very helpful, uh, thankful that I found, uh, find out where it was going. But anyway, that's a side story, guys. You gotta, there's lots that's that go cool. on in this stuff. That's cool. Oh, that's, that's cool, man. Uh, I wanted to just say really quickly to people who are watching again, I can't see the comments. I don't know what's going on. They're uh, saying that you're, they're saying, I can't, I can't even repeat. No, what no, okay, okay, okay. I want to make sure people understand that Daniel and me are good buddies and we argue because we're good friends and we don't hate each other because we disagree. All right. It doesn't mean that we hate each other. It doesn't mean he's my mortal enemy. Because I 90% 90, 90 of the time, me and Daniel will pretty much agree on most things. But we don't agree on maybe the way we go about it. Daniel would like to see me be a nicer person, more diplomatic. I would like well, to see Daniel in a bikini. It just doesn't <laughs> Listen, you <laughs> send me the right bottle, I'll send you a picture. It doesn't mean we hate each other. It just, you know, that's what people like. Ugh, I don't know. It just, like I get this image that everyone in there thinks like we hate each other right now. They don't understand. It's not that we hate yeah. each other. We talk like this. Me and Daniel talk pretty much three times a week, like off of YouTube and stuff like that. We have great conversations and we argue all the time. Well, but Swami thinks he's talking to me, but I had a guy make an app, so it just sounds like me. Yeah, just a picture. <laughs> just a picture of the Because all I have to do is let Swami talk, and I go, uh huh. Yeah. That's uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. Anytime there's a pause, there's just a uh huh. That's a cool oh. app, man. I should make that app, actually. <laughs> that would, guys would be selling that, buying that for their, when their girlfriend calls her, like, just click this app. Uh huh. Whatever, dear. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> That's funny. Um, uh, I, like I agree with Swami. Like, listen, uh, there are times, guys, where, and you get to see the real stuff here. That's one of the things I, I kind of like about the chat. And there, don't ever take it any, any other way, guys. It's just a bunch of guys. It's no different than, than the way you talk about people at work or, or, or other family members. You want to hear the worst talk is when people start talking about their families. Like, oh, Uncle Roy is the son of a, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, people are, still people, love him. And if people. I ever said anything about Uncle Roy, you'd probably smack me right in the head. Hey, that's my uncle. Right. So it's similar. It's similar, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. But it's, it's just uh, one of the reasons why I like you so much is that when uh, we talk is I get to be very, uh, straightforward and um it's it's i don't i don't want to hold back when i when i speak i like being able to just straight out say what's on my mind even though it might be unpopular it's fun for me so, who well, wants to hold back I, I i never understood the whole point of self filtration uh it, that's one thing that i I've noticed it's like i never understood why people self filter on whiskey tube first it's an adult channel even if you don't want it to be, it's an adult channel. You're talking about alcoholic beverages, all right? So the whole point of not swearing while doing reviews because of an algorithm is bullshit because I'm monetized and all my videos pass monetization, all of them, and people hear how I speak. I've never had a video demonetized for the way I speak. So the whole, oh, I don't want to swear because, you know, I don't want it to be demonetized bullshit, all right? That, you know, talk the way you want to talk. You're not going to get demonetized unless you use racial slurs like Daniel does. But uh, <laughs> I'm not racist. I hate everybody equally. <laughs> anyway, man. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. But like, you know, that's the only. Uh, I don't. Know. I, I just never understood the whole. Let's like talk like we're doing like a toy unboxing video channel. When yeah, but it's okay. Every, everybody is allowed to approach. This is one of the things amongst they all the whole. The same way. They all approach, other than maybe Pete Lovers. I think Pete Lovers and Treddy and C will, will occasionally cuss. You're not like, even saying their name right. It's not Pete Lovers. It's Pete Lover. Love. Pete You'll say it with a red, you know? Pete anyway, the whole point is, is that, it's okay if somebody doesn't, and you hear this all the time, somebody doesn't like what you say or what mm -hmm. you do, 
then they don't have to watch you. I mean, they have that freedom of choice, but a lot of people, they get upset about so-and-so or this, that, this and that, and they decide to dig in deeper trying to make a point, right? There's no need to. You just, this is the point about YouTube, is that you are, whether you assign yourself or join a group of other people, you are ultimately on your own. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Too. I, I, I agree 100% with you on that. Um, I, I think it should be on your own. I'm, I'm very much into having friends, getting to know people. The whole fabric community thing, oh, me, I want to burn that down with a fucking blowtorch. I'm so... Well, the whiskey, the, the whiskey, uh, fabric, eh, it's fucking boring. Enough. The, the whiskey fabric part was started very generically and very simply to just show that all of us have a passion about whiskey by the yeah. person that started it. It's not about, it's not it's about all the other stuff that you and I are jamming. I want you to say it right now and group me. It's become group think. Yes or no? It's become which? Group think. There is a tendency for that, yes. I, I, I can say that, right? I mean, I, and I've made comments that way. They don't always pick up on it. The, but, but in the long run... You can have... Leave. Like, I, I, I don't mind people... Like, anyways, it's not, it's not up to me. But what I'm saying is I don't mind people getting together for a common purpose of drinking and chatting. I don't like it well when everyone has to be like in agreement, lock and step with everybody else on, oh, this is the best way and this is how it's got to be done and everyone's got to follow a certain guideline. Come on. That's when it's just like, shut the fuck up. Like, you well, know. that's the thing is that even though it's their comment that way, in the long run, it's still just their, it's maybe just a suggestion and maybe just their opinion. So you just, you know. It, it is what it is. I, I mean, ultimately, you're independent. That is, I've been looking at this youtube -y thing for a long time before I ever did whiskey, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I enjoy it. I, I, I like I like guys like like Casey Nyset, and I love my favorite Montrealer is a YouTuber, right? Viva Fry! Viva Fry. I mean, come on. And, and, and I'm glad you finally figured it out. For a long time, you didn't know who I was talking about. Yeah. I was never um, confused. I know I'm not your favorite. <laughs> no, nah, you're not my you're not my least favorite either. Oh, there's that friend of yours, that guy there, that crazy. I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Is hey, it's Mikey here. That's crazy. Is in the chat. That's why I'm saying it. Mikey's Mikey's the front runner. I've I've offered to give him the channel, but he wants me to stay on. He's trying to support me and tell me that I should stay and continue well, doing what I'm doing. It, okay, I'm going <laughs> to tell you and all the guys in the chat something. I have had at least four of you YouTuber, whiskey tuber guys tell me, you know what, I'm I'm tired of this and I'm not doing it anymore. And they still make their stuff out and they're like, well, maybe I'm going to do this. Maybe I'm just going to review these. Maybe I'm going to uh, this and that. And that's, it's, it's not just in Canada. It's all over everywhere. I don't want anyone thinking of, of anyone specific because it's, it's different. Right. But anyway, the whole point is, is that yeah do it man i mean they're they're just using me as a sounding board and, and giving out ideas they're not asking my opinion directly you ever had that where people ask you their opinion but what they're really trying to do because they don't listen to your opinion a prime example is that is when friends of ours break up with somebody and they want to mm -hmm. ask you well, what about this what about that and i think this and but what they're really trying to do is get you to join their side and agree with them because your opinion might not be exactly, I'm like, your opinion is like, hey, you know what? Maybe let them go. Just move on. And yeah. they're like, oh, but, you know. So they're not asking your opinion. They're asking you to agree with them. Yeah. Right? So, uh, like you just said, several things. You might do this. You might do that. I'm like, well, then just do it. Do your thing. Yeah. Right? It's your thing. Do your thing. I can't tell you what to do because it's YouTube. That's why anybody that doesn't like YouTube, that's what they don't like about it is that, Anybody can say and do their own thing, right? Mm. And that's the people that created YouTube had no idea what effect this would have on society all across the world, man. Yeah. Okay. Richie, what happened to Max, the whiskey bloke? I don't know, Richie. That's a question in the chat. I don't know I what think, happened. To him. I think Max, um, he told me 
he, he uh, contacted me about three, four months ago about saying he was going to be coming out of Canada eventually, like in the spring. So I know that's coming up. He want, It's coming down to my neck, though, it's, so we're supposed to meet up. Um, I don't really want to get into it. It's Max's thing. But I think he's been having some personal things that he's been taking care of. That's all I'll go as far as I'll go. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about Max. You guys, that's whatever. I don't know Richie, so that's my final answer. I don't know. Anything else? Uh, McCallum Fine and Rare just popped in. Thank you, Doc, for coming by. We're we're kind of having a I'll be Wait, back. In a I'm getting my my douche foot juice. Oh, yeah, I thought you were going for a quig. Yes, rabbit in red. I agree. It's knowing your audience. First of all, that's one of the things that we're missing. If you're going to do a channel like this, you are doing stuff that you've never le learned from maybe somebody like I got I got to give that sipper sipper social club Jeremy knows a broadcasting station because that's what he does for a living might be just for sports but he kind of understands how those things work right so th th there's kudos to him he's he's light years ahead of us in that way um and that's the other thing you know what what's it like to be in a newsroom because a lot of us are just talking heads and we're like a news broadcaster right um, so we need to know our audience and you would adjust depending on the audience one attract. So one of the things mm -hmm. that learned, but my audience is full of preverts and social outcasts and <laughs> lords. Maybe if that's what you want to attract, you can, but I mean, again, you can attract what kind of audience you want. Transsexual midgets, just awesome, awesome audience. I don't know what you put in that douche flute, but it's <laughs> it's it's ass juice, I would think. Anyway, here's so, the thing. Most people it's come it's in it's here. Go ahead. Most people come in here because they want to hear us talk about whiskey, right? Yeah. And yeah. I one of the things I know about you is that you are not you know your whiskey and you've got a good palate and you've got a good sense of things, but Man, are there tons of things that you can still learn, right? Yeah. And I am too. Man, I have stuff that I, I – all you guys going on about Springbank, I did not truly appreciate Springbank, and it's not even about the juice that makes me appreciate Springbank. It's having been there and, 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 and their lack of marketing and mm -hmm. the way they take care of their people in that community I that, will, owner, that makes I will. me like it. I will admit to uh, being a big fan of their lack of marketing, which is what got me into them at the beginning. Um, I, and I, they all, they always had a premium price. They were never a cheap brand. So a lot of people say, "Oh, Springbank is going so high up in price." They've never been a cheap brand. They've always been premium price. Well, that's also because they're not mass producing in yeah. the same way, right? Same thing goes for Kill Em and Kill Em has been always been a uh, premium priced whiskey because they're young stuff, but they're again uh, not mass produced. Same thing with Edred Dower. Edred Dower is always going to have a premium price on it. Same thing with Ben Nevis. They're all smaller distilleries that can't afford to have super low prices, but they put out really quality, awesome product. And the other thing I love about all those distilleries, that, which I mentioned, where it's just the batch variation is fun for me. And a lot of people seem to not understand that's one of the greatest factors of these small distilleries is that the batch variation from year to year changes so much that you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. So it's a surprise. Like in Canada here, you guys haven't got it out there yet is, uh, I don't have, well, you've got some things that you're like, like this shelter point that is from BC. They're pretty transparent. They're fairly transparent as, and, and they listen to the people that rep them so far that I've heard you know about about how they release things but uh, a company called two brewers they um they don't try to reproduce anything they have four expressions they put out and i'm gonna grab a label off their neck so i, I always forget one of them i get three of them right they have classic peated oh special finishes is the one i always forget and innovative but they never try to put the same whiskey out. They put out single malts. They're actually, they make way more beer than they do spirit, but uh, they never try to copy anything. So, I mean, it's kind of a segue from Springbank itself. 
but Springbank is, you know, they're not they're not trying to be. Every whiskey is rare, man. That's why. Well, that's why my favorite Irish distillery. I would put them in the same league with Springbank. Yeah, well, that is. Teelings, Teeling. I love Teeling. Oh yeah, but Teeling now Teeling, Teeling, not were they not uh, having source whiskey? At first, they've been producing their no. They they had old batches. It was an older distillery that was defunct that was brought back. So it was old batches from an older distillery. So it's not really sourced. It's their stuff. But it was from a defunct distillery. A cow is fine and rare. Sorry, buddy. What, what did McKellen's Bar and Rare say? He, he said, "Time for a quiz." <laughs> I don't know how long we've been on. We got twenty five viewers now, though more than we had before. So some people are are going to bed. Can you give me a sec? I gotta go get my phone charger because my phone's gonna die any minute. So okay, go so grab her. What's behind you? That's right there or something. No, that's a different charger. Okay. Anyway, yeah, that would be funny if I had a uh, a McCallum fine and rare. Cur curry finished. Hey, curry. Well, no, I don't know, but I have one that I gave to Jason. Uh, no, I'm not giving a bottle away yet. Although that is in my plans, guys. I, I think that there there can be some special things, but you know, most of you guys probably won't like it because I'm not a baller. You know, uh, <laughs> Richie, I'll send you anything right now, Richie. I don't need to give a bottle away. Comments. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, uh, I feel like I'm in the dark. Still well, you are in the dark, but that's you know. Hey, you're a fun guy, right? Yeah. The old mushroom joke. Ha -ha. <laughs> I fucking hate that my laptop won't connect with the freaking uh, when you invited me on. For some reason, I have to go on with my phone. Yeah, know. it looks fine, man. I can't even tell that it's your phone to tell you the truth. So, I don't, but I don't know why it does that. Uh, occasionally, Hangouts like I think it's like it, it refreshes once in a while, and it's like telling you that you have to re-add the app and all that shit, even though you've already had it for like fucking ever. I don't know. Uh, uh, Vegas art. I agree with you 100%, man. That's what I kept saying is that just be yourself. He just said, in my opinion, Swami slash Gooch is fine. He doesn't have to appeal to every person that follows every other whiskey channel. Many of us appreciate his style and brashness. Hope he doesn't quit or change. There you go. Right. Well, I'm never going to change as of quitting. Like I was saying to Daniel, it's not quitting per se, but maybe going in a different direction. Maybe getting out of the whiskey part. <laughs> All you guys, listen, I'm not even prepared to give a bottle away or where I would give it away to, but I have not forgotten about this idea, right? It would still like, I, I don't know. I, I got to think about what I exactly want to do. It, it, it's, it's. I think it, you need to think about what bottle you want to give away right now. Um, I'll give away, I'll, I'll give away a bottle, but it's an open bottle. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have, I don't have he drank any, right out of. He drank it and you know, he backed I don't, closed, I don't have any closed bottles, Daniel. You know me. I'm an alcoholic. Um, no, uh, I, I've got a bottle of Dark Horse Alberta Premium that just sits in my bar that I uh, wasn't a big fan of. It's been yeah, but you know what? That's not a, the, first of all, that's a pretty transparent bottle. I mean, they even admit that it's got sherry put in it, right? Yeah. It, it's, not, it's, it's not a bad bottle, but not the best bottle if we can, can be honest about it there it's, uh, at the who told most there's too many i think there somehow my information is getting leaked out too much to too many people uh how many yeah. people are watching uh now it says 26 so we're either doing something terribly wrong or terribly right rob for my infinity bottle this is every single malt that i've ever reviewed so really uh, I've done 169 reviews. I've done 247 videos. Probably 95 of them were 100% Scottish single malt. So there's about 95 bottles of whiskey in here. Somebody's oh. looking over my shoulder and saying I should give away some Highland Park. That's what I think I see. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to get a and, screen. Uh, to, to Rob and Jeremy, if you're out there watching... I have uh, started my uh, bottle for our special project. So uh, I'll let you guys know more later. Actually, so we have a new topic that just came up here, and I, I didn't, I might have missed the beginning of it, Rooney. Uh, oh, Rooney, Rooney said, I love batch variation, which probably coincides with what we were saying about um, Springbank well, earlier. 
Yeah, when I was talking about uh, the all the smaller distilleries every year producing, it it changes annually. Annually, yeah. Yeah. This is just to show that they're not all twenty ones, right? There's a 12, this is an 18. Rob keeps asking if they're all 21s. I turn them that way so that you can see, I can get them on the shelf easier, that's all. Hey, Daniel, if you can, uh, I don't know if you agree with me, but um, I, I for one, am sad. Highland Park makes me very sad. It just makes me very sad. Well, their whiskey I, doesn't make me sad, but their, their marketing, yeah. same as McAllen, same as... Well, no, McAllen doesn't make me sad because I never cared about McAllen's. I cared about Highland Park. I liked Highland Park. I was a Highland Park supporter for a very long time, and I was a big Highland Park drinker. And it just, that's what makes me sad. It's when a whiskey that you actually enjoy goes and takes the wrong turn. I've never, I've never claimed to be a big McAllen's guy. So McAllen doing whatever the fuck McAllen's does is fine with me. I don't really care that much because I'm more Glendronic than I am McAllen. Uh, there are McCallans out there that I like, but the direction where McCallans is going doesn't bother me because I could care less if I drink another McCallans for the rest of my life. It's not going to you know, affect me anyway. But Highland Park affects me because of so many mistakes over the years. It's not just the uh, Viking lore. It's it's a white nationalist lore that they've gone into. It, it, it's, it's fucking kind of just gross where they've gone with their whiskeys. I don't know. Well, Wells Toro says he's with you. Highland Park is disappointing. I'm not as easily disappointed with whiskeys, but but again, I expect less from them. Um, what what bothers me about the marketing and been talking about Vikings is if we I don't care if Viking. I mean, Scotland is full of people that used to come from some form of Viking heritage, maybe, possibly, and and likely, but they didn't drink whiskey. No, they drank fermented milk. <laughs> yeah, and mead and all this other stuff. It, 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 you know, I actually have fermented milk in my house, and it's it's vodka. Yeah. It's made from whey. It's it's from Dorset, England, and it's actually a really good vodka. I don't have it in this room. It's in my freezer, but yeah. Uh, Rooney says to McCallum, it is unique stuff, and I like to evolve all the time in my ta whiskey taste. I love comparing batches. So, and 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 uh, the doc says he understands and good point. What I like, I mean, I don't have that kind of memory like some people do. Like you or Whiskey in the Six or a couple other people, they can go back and recall, like I tasted this whiskey last year and it tasted like this. And then they try one from this year and, and it reminds them or it's totally different. I would have to write everything down. You don't even have a good memory. You can... Daniel, you can just look at your Octomores, if you have Octomores, and you can think about back uh, when, when uh, I forget his name, fuck, how can I forget his name? He's doing uh, Glenn, K uh, he's got his new company now, what's his name? He was with Bowmore, and then he was with Brooke Laddie, now he's got his own thing going on now. He's a distributor, you mean, or what? Ooh, the master distiller, fuck, I can't believe I forgot his name. My God, I'm who's he with? He was with uh, he was with Brook Laddie before Brook Laddie he was with Bowmore, and uh, now he's got his own uh, thing. Uh, Ralphie picked one of them as his whiskey of the year this year. He picked the twelve or the fifteen as the whiskey of the year. Billy, uh, no, no, that's not Billy Walker. Not Billy Walker. Uh, oh God, I can't believe I forgot his name. Too much whiskey. Most just said Billy Walker. That's crazy. Got a GOT. Is that got to do something? Billy Walker. Jim, you're not talking about Glenn Allergy is Billy Walker, right? Yeah, Glenn Allergy is Billy Walker, so it's the wrong one. But he did um, Bowmore and he did Brooke Laddie. What was his name? Bowmore and Brooke Laddie. You mean Jim McEwen? Yeah, Jim McEwen. You can just tell by looking at the Bowmores. From when Jim McEwen was pro producing them to now, with the new guy, I think Dave or Mike or something, I can't remember his name, but now he's producing them, and you can tell the difference in the quality of taste compared to those. So you don't really have to go that far back for memory's sake. 
No, 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 no. But I'm if I've never had that. Now Vegas Art got it right, Jim McEwen. Too bad it wasn't a contest. You'd have been the winner. Um, here's an interesting thing, and I, and uh, I've met Jim McEwen a couple times, so a hundred percent kind of well, I kind of can see why they made this comment. I won't say who made it. I have to actually go through the videos I made, but they actually said that Jim McEwen, at least on the aisle is considered to be a charlatan why i think it would be i think the only reason from what i know of him meeting him personally a couple times and i've got his autograph on some very rare brook laddies in a sense um is that he he i think you and him might get along <laughs> let's put it that way why i uh, he, he <laughs> you see this little thing i have in my hand here yeah the disposable it's a pipette they call it it's a water yeah. dropper but they're mm -hmm. great at tastings because then you can control how many drops you put in your whiskey if you really want to experiment with it that way jim was going on and on about this and it's funny because it's really about how everybody wants to wax on about i smell this and i taste this in my whiskey and wanna mm -hmm. and he actually took one of these things and stuck it in his ear <laughs> and he was he got it from a friend of mine there and he went who gave me this and she put her hand up and he flew through a back door and then he said you're very homely <laughs> like, now now that's not to say that he meant she was ugly because mm -hmm. in in the uk and in europe and other areas calling someone homely means that they say they invited you into their house and they made you dinner or they made you feel welcome they're very homely right it's not necessarily ugly but I'm, I'm not sure what he meant by that um or it could be just that he's i mean before at brook laddie i mean i have them up here i have a ton of bottles that i mean they had a cuvee after a cuvee it was always different something different they were pumping out tons of stuff right they yeah, didn't have a main mainline ship for, for a good six seven years it was like literally every bottle was different everything kept on coming out differently and uh, they didn't really have any structured lineup per se at a certain point but it yeah. was fun yeah. they were being very innovative innovative it was nice other than like you know the brook laddie products themselves like i loved i loved the octomores and the port charlottes but the wave come on the wave was one of the most disgusting whiskeys ever produced in i don't think i had that i have the rocks i have yeah. dna i have the dna uh, yeah. That's when I first met Jim. I bought a bottle of this very expensive DNA, and and uh, I mean, there's no denying how much he loves whiskey, and I think that's probably why they might say he's a charlatan, because he probably calls out the companies that are, you know, doing marketing shit and blowing sunshine up our ass. Well, Anthony Wills is the same way. One of the reasons why I respect him so much, he he calls them out all the time. So. He doesn't seem to care, and he doesn't lie. Actually, actually, there, Welsh Toro just said it. He's the most passionate whiskey producer I know, and he watches his videos. Um, I don't know if you mean the videos that he put out when he was working with Brook Laddie. Uh, he seems very sincere. Yeah, I don't think he – I think it would be hard to find an unsincere person in Scotland from my trip anyway. <laughs> there might be some that are more diplomatic, but in the long run, they're – you they, know, like taking, they, like taking a piss. they like taking a piss on people. That's what I like. About. I like. I have a lot of Scottish friends. You met a couple of them, Dale. I, I like them. They're 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 yeah. rowdy bunch. I like joke them. and stuff. But like I just said, they say what they mean and they mean what they say. Yeah. There's a lot of them in the punk scene, and uh, they're good guys. In the punk scene, what are that? What's that? Are they like like old age hipsters? The punks? Yeah, they're old age hipsters. <laughs> Hipsters, old age hipsters. Well, I can't believe that we have 25 people watching us. It's amazing. And I'm very, very happy about this. There must yep. be the controversy. You're welcome. you're welcome, Daniel. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I am. I'm impressed. I said, oh, I got some <laughs> comments already. You just said this morning that we were going to have a glass of Anoc together. And now it's been, what, three hours talking? I don't know. I'm trying to find it on the video here. I'm looking. Where's it say? Sixty-five minutes. How long? Sixty-five minutes. I'm not five minutes over an hour. 
Yeah, we said we said we we're gonna go on for twenty minutes to talk about Anok, and we didn't talk about Anok at all. That's not what I said, Welsh. I said the people there are very sincere. They say what they mean, and they mean what they say, whether you like it or not. The chicken box. My wife. My wife came in and said hello. She said hello. Yeah, she said hi, Daniel. Oh, hi, dear. Sorry, I was. I was talking too much to hear you, but I appreciate hearing a hello from her. She was probably she said, telling you that your pizza's all gone and she ate it already. Yeah, no, she said, <laughs> she literally said, say hello to all your imaginary video people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? That, let's, let's talk about that. Let's change subject a little bit. Relationship-wise, I am sure that every and, and we have Whiskey in the Six is still on here. I don't know who else from the whiskey chats but it, it, it doing this takes time and it must affect our relationship somehow right so yeah. we have to be like i've had to pull back a little bit and 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 julia is too awesome to me for me to to not say yeah you know what i don't have time for this and so forth right like i mean there are times when i could be putting her first right hey go habs how you doing go ahead here he's a big supporter of mine i like that uh, yeah, he's. I don't, pretty, like the, yeah. I don't like the hockey team, but I like Go Abs. Go Abs. I, I've seen him. I, I occasionally will go check out live streams of other channels that I don't like, just to see what some of my followers are doing. And they 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 love to mention what I do on my channel to piss off the other channels. Well, I'm gonna. I tell you, when we're done this, I'm going right to Sipper Social Club to see what he said about you. I want to see that. No, I think Rob mentioned it. There's nothing about me, but I think it's more along the lines that Jeremy has uh, got 50,000 views, which is awesome. I love, uh, like, Jeremy's a really cool guy. You know, I have got no issue with him growing. Whiskey in the Six said, absolutely, it affects family life. He says he's watching Goosebumps while he's listening to Swami the Clown. Yeah. Fuck you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's not exactly what he said, but that's how I read it. All right. <laughs> um, no, but uh, it's true. It, it, uh, it, it Well, not for me so much anymore because I, I pulled back quite a bit. I'm no longer really doing anything. I can't even say that. I haven't done a review in two months. I haven't put out a review in two months. I do one live show every two weeks. Uh, this is going to be considered my live show just being on with you today. So... Um, you know, I've been much better with my wife. I've been hanging out with her more. Um, and other than that, it's been work, 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 and uh, my wife. So it's been better, yeah. Well, we have to – that's that's the other thing that I've noticed is is trying to find a balance anyway. I mean, I, I'm sure everybody has dealt with it in their life no matter what, but mm – -hmm. It is an important thing, and that's not just to do because you're on YouTube and have decided to do the social media. If we really look at social media, it's just the next un unintentionally. So social media has become the next marketing weapon. Yeah, I just think social media has just developed a lot of egotistical pricks like myself. That's what social media has done. It's given us a platform for us to fucking put our opinions out there and be a lot more vocal and a lot more heard than we should be. We should be the guys that no one should ever hear from. But because That's a very media. interesting perspective that you brought up that we are all heard and it's easier to yeah. be heard nowadays because yeah. once upon a time, I mean, nobody, before we had radio, right? I mean, we had what? The written word and it got passed on down to the next person that, hey, when you're driving through this town, can you drop off this letter or say this to so and so, right? Yeah, we all we all get our fifteen minutes now. Everybody. Everybody gets it. Yeah. yeah. Even the people you don't want to, like myself. You're, I knew this was going to come up because Go Hab always brings it up. Looking at the number of bottles behind you, Julia deserves at least one ring. Okay, okay, I, I got the message. <laughs> You don't even have to get married. You can still give her a ring. That's what I did. I gave my wife the ring. We're not technically married. We're common law. Oh, my Jesus. heavenly Lord. The lawyers are going to eat you alive. What? The lawyers are going to eat you alive. No, she makes more money than me. <laughs> the lawyers will eat her alive at the end of it, if that's the case. 
Uh, well, Storo says it's very consuming. After going whiskey mad for a few years, I'm pulling back a bit to focus more on my other passions. Yeah. I mean, it, it is true, man. Absolutely. There are so many more things in life than just right. whiskey or just motorcycles for both of us. Yeah. Or, or working. There are some people that are just right into their work. Well, I, I officially have finally become an adult and have actually focused on my work as of late. <laughs> which I well, that's an honest thing. thing. But then again, you're still playing video games. like On my time off, yeah. Yeah, but, but, but that, 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 don't tell I, us you couldn't make whiskey reviews for us because you're too busy well, playing well, freaking well, Red well, and well, something or other. I'll have to admit, I might not have the same fire and passion. Like, well, you said well, Welsh was one that said that. He said he's got no passion anymore or whatever. I'll have to admit, I, I, I think I lost my love. I still love drinking, and I still enjoy whiskey. I, I'm not <laughs> big into collecting. Mike no, said Swami is half French. That's why he's common law. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but Mike knows you better not. Um, no, but um, I don't think I have the same shared passion, uh, almost sexual deviant passion that some of these whiskey reviewers have for whiskey. I like whiskey. But you know what? I like, no, I like whiskey. I like the taste. I enjoy drinking. Um, I'm not a whiskey file. All right. I, I, I'm knowledgeable on the subject because of years doing this channel, but I don't spend every waking moment reading whiskey books. I don't, you know, care to really do 50 tours of 50 distilleries in Scotland. I want to go visit Scotland, maybe do a couple of whiskey tours, but it's, you know, you guys do what you want. If it's fun for you, it's fun for you. For me, I think it would get boring after the third tour. I don't, like, okay. I don't, well, I could agree with you, except, the very fact is, is that many of the ones that I went to, everyone was different. And the only part is, is that if you could spend more time at that distillery, it doesn't take you very long to get to know it. But then for me, it would be cool to just hang out in the community for a little bit, yes. right? It's, it's it. ultimately the people. Tour. I would rather tour and meet people and drink in pubs and uh, have a blast and, you know, hear stories from people and you know spend my waking moments doing distillery tours one of my favorite conversations was 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 with james mctaggart in the middle of a storm in a brand new distillery called lag in lag mm -hmm. and his comment was this i said I, I forget how the question was asked or if it was one of the other people in the group that asked it i have to watch the video i wasn't actually videoing him but i had something going on so i could hear it later and i might not be able to hear it um but it was, he's like, if you walked into a pub back in the day when we were drinking whiskey and you started talking about marzipan and smelling this and that, you'd get your freaking ass kicked out of the pub. The number one drink in Scotland until a few years back was rum. They didn't even drink their own product. Just to, just yeah. to say. Just yeah. Say. Right. yeah. Uh, a lot of my Scottish friends that I meet call whiskey a posh twats drink. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> don't you mean Scotch per se, because there's lots of other whiskeys that are whatever. But I agree. I agree. Yeah. The, the one guy I wish, and, and you guys should check this guy out. He only has like 70 to 80 subscribers. It's called mm -hmm. Whiskey Woman. Woo Man. W-U-M-A-N. Woo Man. He's, he, and he works at a whiskey store in Glasgow. And he did not, he actually turned me away from several more expensive whiskeys. And he got me into, because I told him I started my whiskey collection with Glenn Rothis. So he got me into this Glenn Rothis because he knew some things. He said, hey, this, you know what? The 18 year old is in here. This is cheaper and it has a higher ABV. This is the, the whiskey maker cut. And then he got me into, he said, buy this one. It was, I don't know, 30 pounds or something like that from the Berry Brothers, which we know Berry Brothers had the rights to Glen Rothis, right? They never owned Glen Rothis, but they had the rights to Glen Rothis. And this, this is a 14-year-old, I think, and 7-year-old Glen Rothis. It's a blend, but it's only two. For, it's actually a single malt because it's from one distillery. 
but they have to call it a blend now because they don't have the rights to whatever. But this guy, Whiskey Woo Man, Woo Man, W U M A N, is you know they're not fancy. They're just it's him and a and a lady. Both of them, I think, work at the store, and they just talk about the whiskeys. I have, well, I just have kind of respect for people like that when you go into a whiskey store, especially, you know, they're there. If they got somebody that comes in and wants to buy a whiskey bottle because it's aged or it's really expensive, then that's fine. Do you find yourself when you go into liquor stores, though, because of your gained knowledge of doing this over years, that you're taking over the jobs of like the uh the employees the yeah stores. oh man and some of these big stores i was in one during the holidays i was in one at my sack hate me because i go in there and they're trying to sell these guys whiskeys and they sell them the wrong whiskey and i'm like oh, i'm like don't don't buy that and i'll bring them over there and then the guy the customer will like uh the the customer service rep will come back and try to get the guy back. And the guy's like, no, no, it's okay. I'm going to listen to him. And he starts following me and I start showing him the whiskeys and stuff. Yeah, no, no. I have that happen all the time. Whiskey in the six says goodbye. And he says he still loves you no matter what you say. All right. I love you too, Rob. I love you too, Rocky Rock. Go. Rocky Rock. Go. <laughs> um, what's that? Go Habs. I think I might get the two lowest priced ones. You didn't have a great night, Rob. That's the 18 from the new Glenn Rothes Solio series. Okay. Um, Scotland has a massive booze problem. Many alcoholics and a lot of fights. The most popular drink is what gets you pissed the cheapest. That's the UK, but it's pretty serious in Scotland. You know what? That happens everywhere. Uh, here, it, it hasn't been around for a while, but in an area that's known as the trendy place to hang out and has the most bars on it, which is White Avenue, you will have guys that, that pull over in there. I told you that. I live about five minutes from White Ave. Yeah, yeah, you did. And, yeah. and, and, I'm, and I understand the issues they have. But back in the day when Swami was there, guys would pull up and they would shoot down a bottle, which is a big bottle of Big Bear, which is a high ABV beer. And or something else. And now, of course, it, the world's changed because pot is legal and blah, blah, blah. But they would do that because they, they didn't want to pay the expense of prices in the liquor in in the liquor store or not the liquor stores, but the pubs for drinks. I mean, if I go out and order an old fashioned here in my local pub, it's like 14 bucks. You know, I mean, it's it's good the way they make it and so forth. And they're not fancy. It's 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 a pub. It's not a cocktail bar, right? They're not, you know, if I was in a cocktail bar, they'd probably charge me 25 bucks. So these guys are getting a buzz on before they go into the dance clubs or whatever, right? But, you know, I mean, that's the, the way nowadays. And, they, and I mean, they're doing it the cheapest way they can. When I was a kid, we drank whatever the fuck was available that had fucking booze in it. Like, that's how it was. It was whatever was the cheapest. We sure. just, you know, we'd buy a, I'd buy a Mickey of Smirnoff uh, regular vodka, like a little Mickey of Smirnoff vodka or Captain Morgan rum, chug that shit down, take a six pack of Lone Star, fucking chug those down and go hit the fucking bar and get rowdy. Because well, it cost like, cause it used to cost like, and this is, we used to think it was expensive, it used to cost like $3 a beer and it was like, you know. We thought that was expensive when I was a kid, so we just like... Listen, don't lie to us. You probably freaking went through your teenage years drinking baby duck. What's a baby duck? <laughs> it's <laughs> just a really bad sparkling wine. Yes. I was, and it was cheap. Uh, no. We uh, we drank Smirnoff and uh, Bacardi or fucking uh, uh, Captain Morgan. That was... Uh, we buy the Mickeys at the sack. The little bottle, fucking. Oh yeah. Well, Storo says that he. Hey, uh, Rooney, uh, I might have missed you because you said this. Uh, well, two minutes ago. Have a good night, my friend. Have a good night, Rooney. Get your sleep on because you got to do another workout tomorrow. Rooney. Well, says the same thing you Rooney. and I have. We got to say scroll to Rooney, like they do in the Oh, the I don't know how scroll. that works. He's a uh, he's a very smart man, actually. If you get to know him a little bit better and watch some of his stuff. I think he does a little bit on YouTube as well. Uh, I know he does. He has a YouTube channel, but it, it's small because he travels for work, so he can't always do it. Uh, well, Storo says he does the sales work in whiskey shops all the time, but he says they can't sell shit. And you know what? Out here, they don't because they're paid minimum wage. They want them all over the place. They're almost there just to stock the shelves. 
I talked <laughs> several people into buying different bottles during the holidays, right? So yeah, yes. they, they get paid crazy money in Quebec and in Ontario because we have the private, uh, the public liquor boards. So uh, I think the lowest that a, a SAC employee will make is like 40K a year. That's like the lowest. And that's like yeah. the guy who's like stocking the shelves. So yeah. they're not making minimum wage. We get lots of, they have some people that work there part time that know just as much as any one of us think we know. And they're good, but they can't spend a lot of time with one customer because then they get, hey, you got to do this, you know. So I don't mind. I spend a lot of time in those stores. And that's another thing that because I have that passion. You know, you got to balance yourself out, right? <laughs> Baby duck sells for five seventy five at the LCBO. What did it cost twenty years ago? Exactly, go abs. <laughs> hey, brother, I wanted to ask you: Do you want to do a cut in five minutes, and we'll go offline, and finish our drinks uh, offline there? Yeah, yeah, we got to get going here. I, 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 I should have been done. I left work early so I could just get some stuff done. Listen, all you guys in the chat, I love you very much. Don't forget. To bust Swami's balls on his on his channel, go in there and just comment all the time. Go to his oldest video. Do me a favor, go to his oldest video and and I don't care if you watch the first five minutes or the last ten minutes. Say yeah. something on his chat to keep him enthused and going, will you? Well, anyway, okay. Swami, say your piece. I, my last words. This is what you guys can do for me. Any of you guys who are actually fans of me and agree with me and like what I do, if you want to make me happy. Go over to the Whiskey Vault and say the Gooch sent us, and the Gooch challenges you guys to come on his channel and talk about your Whiskey Academy. That's what I want from my fucking subscribers. All right? That's what you can do for me. Anyway, I, I, I have nothing to do with that. I don't condone any of it. Do what you want to do. I'm not your boss. I love you all, and thanks for being here, guys. And... Uh, We'll talk to you later. Thanks, Mark. Take care. Cheers. Cheers.